Hello everybody and uh, welcome. Let me actually check out if the mic. Okay, there we go. The mic is on tonight. The mic is on. Okay, I'm so sorry about this. And uh, it looks like um, they're gonna go without the last. They will. Um, <clears throat> Uh, they will need to wait for him a little bit, but they just want to start the draft and uh, see what's going on. He's going to join after the ending of the draft. Uh, so um, I do want to, of course, uh, say hello to everybody. Welcome, welcome. We got a Quarez Wolf getting hammered over there. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Abox6, good evening, and thank you so much for uh, giving me that feedback. Why the nerdy still not knowing about the Civ game Twitter? Uh, wait a second, did they actually put more Civ games over there? I don't know what they did, man. I don't know what they did. Civ game, you know, sometimes 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 bro too little information uh, so we don't know that much let me see did they do anything they, i know they put up uh, something 15 seconds something which we don't know what it is they're just saying something will happen but we don't know what it is so we'll see <laughs> we gotta see announcement is tomorrow i don't know man i don't know i have no idea what it is we're gonna see it tomorrow also uh, tom basan hello there hello there sir and welcome fire tiger page good evening ma'am and uh, well, i should say good afternoon man uh, uh, ma'am and i do hope uh, you had a nice um, stroll in the snow Plushy Hunters, hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Uh, let's see, uh, also I gotta point out, uh, we did have somebody picking up that first promotion. It was Gatti Anthony picking up the first promotion. He is back on track, that's how he likes to say it. Um, and uh, definitely thank you so much, sir, for uh, joining us tonight. We also have Zenja Max uh, coming up from the BBG team, uh, joining us to see what's going on over here, What uh, what is the news. I also want to point out that we do have um, today a game. This is the second game after um, actually from this uh, series, a best of three series. Uh, these uh, teams are fighting for a slot in the upper um, in the upper divisions. That's usually what happens uh, with um, the CFR squadrons. After they did they do the group phase, or I should say the division phase, and so on. They do have a moment like a playoffs uh, session in which the players you know, are given the chance to move up or down. And the depending on, of course, the skill level and uh, the results in the group stage. Now, uh, we are in that phase. We are going to find quite a few teams that will uh, need to uh, find their slots in upper divisions and some of them will actually go down. I understand um, uh, we have actually at this point two uh games um that will need to go back to back. First of all, is this one. It's Fantomas going against... Um, um, oh, man. Oh. Uh. Looking for D Shark, looking for D Shark, and the other one is uh, Lezanimo going against the Project Conquerors. Uh, both of uh, the teams are coming up from Division 3. Uh, they did have a good track record, that's why they're actually doing this uh, best of three over here. And whoever wins will get directly into that um, uh, upper division in the, in the Division 2. Of course, that also opens up the um, um, the possibility in the next season to actually climb higher in Division 1 uh, fighting against the best of the best from the CVFR squadrons. Uh, we do have actually the last player going. Uh, okay, he joined. Les La Lotre uh, did join over here and it looks like uh, we are starting to arrange the teams uh, quite nicely. If, uh, we got on one side Fantomas coming today with Sporot, Portos, uh, Tyrem and uh, the Dick, Dick Lick. While on the other side, we got Lis La Lotre, Cory, Hope, and uh, VTC coming up uh, today for uh, looking for D Shark. We, I've actually streamed them for quite a few times uh, before. We have seen them um, uh, play, and uh, we had uh, actually quite a few nice uh, streams with them. I'm expecting the same thing happening today, especially since uh, there's a little bit more pressure put on them today. You know, like a little bit, just a tad bit more pressure put on them today. And we will see indeed uh, Pangea Classic finally. It looks like, yeah, indeed. Also, announcement of the announcement. I am still not actually sure what to make of that, uh, by the way. Just a quick comment over there on the Civ game announcement. We might have new content. We might not have new content. We might have like a pass for something. Subscription pass, not subscription pass. New cat scout. Maybe it's going to be a chicken scout. I don't know. I have no idea what it is, man. And then we're going to find out tomorrow. So that's why I don't actually want to um, um, 
make that many assumptions and uh, go ahead with it we're going to need to see uh, what they will announce and actually we're going to get to see um, if uh, they do manage to um, uh, get some awesomeness over here of course uh, any content is going to be amazing if uh, we get some i just uh, don't want to put more pressure on it because i have so many ideas i should, you know i like oh, no oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Anyway, coming up in the active band phase, we do have over here uh, three civilizations taking out Mali, taking the rip. We got uh, Vietnam taking the rip, and it looks like uh, Russia is not going to be a part of the game. I got to point out, of course, we are in the Pangea Classic um, a map. We will see quite a few... Um, uh, strategies that do revolve around uh, timing attacks i'm pretty sure we might see some zulu over here you've seen those impies uh, smash their opponent series uh we might see some japanese uh, samurais we might see a lot of uh, good stuff over here of course um the players will need to get the gold and will need to find a way for them to get a win in this um, game. K Pamps, uh, thank you so much. Camp, uh, K Pamps, I, I should say. Thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. Wrong map, it's standard. Wait, it's actually standard. Pizarro, it's standard. Prangia. Oh, I mean, that's good. That's good. Actually, standard. Prangia, I like it more. I like it more. Okay, standard. Prangia, okay okay standard prangia okay it's it, it's fine it's fine what, what is this this is gonna be the mountains separating so the big difference between classic pangea and the um, standard pangea is how the mountains actually uh, generate on the map one and that's the standard one goes around um, the continent splits which kind of makes sense because you know you know i think everybody actually learned in geology in school how the mountains are actually getting created when the the, the Tony plates actually get next to each other and they make boom, 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 and they, you know explosions come up and so on and so forth. Uh, that's basically uh, how this map generates. The other one, the classic Pangea, is just random. It's whatever they want to put them, they put them. <laughs> you know, basically like that. They just have like a certain amount of mountains that need to put throughout the map, and that's about it. Uh, we put in mountain tunnels next to our capitals this game yes yes getting those trade routes in <laughs> yes yes i can even hear and now um how to say um uh, inca getting chosen uh, we got a question here from uh, Lokzard. good evening son and welcome where are when are the next cwc games we do give uh, the players uh, the teams actually time until uh, wednesday to um, schedule their games and uh, usually the games need to be played between um actually uh, until Tuesday but anyway that's with the casters uh, they need to be played between Thursday of every week until Sunday of that week so uh, they do have uh, that, those four days um, of uh, possible games before that we try to uh, get the graphics going we try to get the casters assigned to the team we work on the website and uh, all of the other details in the background uh, we're trying to get um, well as many details uh, out as possible as uh, much as we can it looks like we do have the two next bands actually three next bands because i don't think i mentioned kree i saw it you know it got over my eye but i didn't mention it kree is taken out with looks like um, also zulu is not going to be a part of the game and then uh, boom shakalaka we do have uh, hungary taken out why why take out hungary bro like it doesn't shine it doesn't spark over here anyway they did took it out and now immediately vdc notices goal is left open he is gonna pick ambiotics and then a sport is left uh, with a big choice what is he gonna go for he's gonna go for the most flexible civilization in the game it is rome trajan coming up next with those free monuments with the legions we're gonna need to see if um He's gonna manage to uh, get us another Punic War started over here between him and uh, something like Dido. I don't, I'm probably not gonna see Dido on this map, but it's still fun to uh, mention that oversimplified video. <laughs> Uh, also, one, th uh, one other information, Loxart, uh, when we do know about the games, we're going to put them up as soon as possible on the website. So I, I do try uh, to be as fast as I can about the information. It's just uh, how fast the players can actually give us that information. And you know what's funny? Every time we set a deadline, they're actually going to match that deadline uh, like very, very close to it. Or it's going to be like a bit later. 
<laughs> you know <laughs> so maybe i don't know maybe we should think about this uh, like rethink this let's let's say instead of giving them time until um, uh, you know tuesday uh, evening or something like that maybe we'll give them time until sunday evening a week, be a week behind you know <laughs> something like that so it's faster but anyway it's fine we don't want to put that much pressure on them we, everything's good we're trying to get um, get it as you know as fun make it as fun as possible as challenging as possible uh, uh have the um, how to say the um, um good feel about it and uh, so on and so forth we do have portos also going for lady six guy uh, he's gonna pick uh, maya and of course uh, maya coming up uh, with uh, so much potential for the science we're gonna need to see if his continent is actually gonna give him that opportunity we've seen what happens when maya doesn't actually get plantations it's, it's kind of meh you know it, 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 and then hope is gonna go for japan oh man I have a preference now. I, I gotta say, like at this point in time, it feels like I like more uh, looking for D Shark than I like Phantomas, even though I like those civilizations from Phantomas. Oh, I just like the samurais and, of course, the Gaelic production, the culture, and so on. We might actually see quite a game over here. Uh, we will need to see uh, what they're gonna ban next. We do have uh, still quite a few civilizations that are quite powerful on the Pangea map, including those ones that. Uh, do try to go for uh, culture victories uh, so you know we might see some panicles we might see some canada uh, we, we might see some of those uh, show up over here maybe some sweden no any sweden enjoyers no anybody in the chat here sweden enjoyers no no anyway coming back to this looks like they did take out uh, teddy rough rider and then we do have um uh, Spain coming up next in the eighth uh, choice. We do have uh, two more choices to go for, and we're gonna start uh, looking at the maps. Incinerity toilet. Oh my god, man! Every time I see that name, I see a toilet on fire. What did you do, bro? How did you do that? Good evening, sir. <laughs> Let me actually uh, put up. Uh, the remap votes over here uh, i gotta say man i effed up yesterday oh my god i effed up yesterday i'm so sorry about it so yesterday we did have a moment when uh you know i had to choose the prediction and i chose the other way around oh that was so bad i was like no this is not happening this is not happening <laughs> but it did happen and now i don't know how to actually go for it uh, Jamie, yes, it is uh, Pangea standard over here, standard ridges. Uh, hello there, Salmarion. Good evening, sir. And um, I do hope uh, you both are gonna enjoy the show over here. Uh, Rafifi, bonsoir, bonsoir. It is indeed a late match, and I do hope uh, there's not gonna be a rematch. It is Pangea, though. You know, Pangea standard. Maybe, maybe they do good. Maybe it's uh, gonna generate very, very nicely, and um, everybody is gonna be quite um, uh, excited about tomorrow's announcement over here from Save Game. I don't know if you guys uh, so uh, Twitter but we do have quite a few things happening and of course uh, I do also want to mention um, we did ha we did make the announcement about I think we did didn't we do the announcement I think we did the announcement right on um, yeah, safe show on the safe show I think we did I think we did but I, let me actually check so I'm not uh, Pepe I right know let me actually check over here we do have the last participant of the Civ Gift 2022, and you're gonna hit it here. Oh my God! Let's actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. This deserves to be put up on the screen over here. You, you guys, you guys, you gotta see this. You gotta, you gotta see this. Let me actually take a look over here. Let's see Moisos the Saucy. Good evening. I've invited both of you my most trusted advisors to pick the last participant in the Civ Gift. Any suggestions? Oh, dude, I'll play a new game. I think I'll be totally looked apart. Ugh, not you. You'd be horrible if you showed up. We cannot have a boy like you in the Civ Gift. Whatever, I don't even want to be in it anyway. I think I know a guy. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> surprise, surprise. We got Leech coming up uh, in the Civ Give 2022. And of course, we're going to need to see uh, what is, how is he going to like this, if he's going to like this, if uh, it's uh, going to be amazing. It is definitely going to be amazing. I, I can see this from now. Yes, we got the boys. We got the multiple boys as well. We do have uh, also the next civilizations uh, taken out um, over here from the draft. So it looks like uh, Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen, is going to be totally smashed. And then we do have Victoria taken out over there from the battle. Let's actually see um, uh, the next uh, picks. Uh, Tired, I'm going for Dino. Looks like uh, Cody is going to go for Montezuma. Uh, while uh, VTC is going to go for Kublai Khan. China, China. The d -click is going to also pick up... Uh, he picked up Rome again? Come on, bro. Like, that's, they cannot be two Romes. Two Romes. What is this? What is the last pick over here? We need to know the last pick. The last pick. So we got uh, Rome, Lady Siskai, and Dido. We need to see the last pick over here. They take us to your leader. Oh, man. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. He really wants Rome over here. He really wants Rome, man. Now, what's the format? That's actually a good question. Uh, last year, so we do have, we did have uh, FFAs like free for alls, uh, and uh, we don't know exactly this year how the format will be on the save give. Uh, there are quite a few ideas uh, being, um, uh, how to say. Um, bounced around over there the administration and we're gonna see what they end up with whatever it will be it will be fun i gotta say that um uh, and of course uh, i do want to double check if i have uh, the ping to everybody here let's actually take a look yeah we do have the ping to everybody in the house uh, and uh, looks like the last choice over here uh, it is gonna be basil the second coming up with um, byzantium of course uh, the tagmas the dromos uh, the taxi straight and what is uh, going on what is going on come on let's start this up gentlemen start your engines um what is this anyway i don't understand Take this also good evening sir uh there were some technical issues last year yes we're also working on that glory to all who fight for freedom Hi Finn8, hello there sir and thank you so much for the tier 1 sub, much appreciated sir and indeed let's fight for freedom. Uh, anyway, I don't uh, under I don't know exactly what you don't understand, can I help you by the way take this? May, may I help something? Uh, meanwhile, uh, made an announcement about an announcement being announced tomorrow. Oh man, that's just, yeah. Can we like wait for the actual announcement of the content because you know, <laughs> like, can, can we like wait for it? There can be so many things happening uh, behind like that, you know, are not announced at the moment and we don't know about them. Um, I do hope uh, we're going to overcome those technical issues. Definitely. Uh, definitely. That actually reminds me, as in Jamax, I do need to get some water. I don't have water near me. I only have actually, I guess, like a sip of water. I'm going to need to get a new bottle over here. Not here. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. THX for streaming and have a nice evening less than three. Hey, thank you so much, Sensman1981. Much appreciated for the sub, bro. Thank you for the prime. And of course, uh, with much pleasure. I really love streaming every little bit of, of game that I get. Akura uh, Yusuf, yeah, uh, they will want out this uh, year to help it. Yes, yes, yes. We're trying to go for the help over here for the Civ uh, game. We do need to see if uh, we're going to manage to do so. And I do hope uh, it is, it is going to be fixed. I hope it will be fixed. <laughs> Uh, Japan on the west side is gonna have a coastal spawn. I believe I did start that up, right? Uh, yes, we got three more minutes for you guys uh, to put the, the points in. Uh, if uh, there's gonna be zero remaps, one remap or two remaps, you gotta be really careful about it. And of course, uh, place those points faster. You know, VTC is gonna have a second spawn, of, uh, a second settle to the south that is gonna allow him to acquire the tobacco to the match easily. Doesn't actually need to get. Uh, 
his um, uh, God King card, by the looks of it, he's going to get that free faith uh, going up. Uh, he does have a good spawn, actually, a good um, extra settles on the north as well. From what I can see, two of them are going to be quite nice. And it doesn't look like he is going to be that um, concerned about Rome from the east. The D click coming up next to him, he is going to have um, his uh, 2 1 base over here, could move for a 2 2. Uh, that's look like uh, he's also going to have quite a few rivers and a lot of mountains. Just look at this. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Um a big circle of mountains around Rome. He is protected from all sides. Can just plug those choice. And that's it. And put those legions in. They're going to work for him. And of course, uh, Japan is to be pushed out in the water over there. Ah! We're going to see if uh, that actually works. Uh, also, the safe show. We'll see about that. Wait, we got Moy in the house. Wait, wait, wait. Which one of the Moys are you? This is the biggest question from now on. We're actually going to need to ask when we see the Civ show in the chats, which one of the Moy do we have here? <laughs> you know, there are many Moys, but there's only one. <laughs> no more time this year in the Civ uh, give, uh, hopefully, indeed. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, uh, taking up, uh, taking a look uh, next, we do need to take uh, C, uh, C, C, C over here. Maya is uh, gonna go for uh, okay to one base. So does have a possible two two if he wants to. And uh, from what I can see, mm, does have. Mm, mm, mm. Why did he move left, uh, right though? I mean, he does have one olive tile, and by the looks of it, he's gonna have honey, he's gonna have uh, amber on the same continent, has a few bananas, not a lot of them, like one, two of them. And um, the biggest question over here that I have to ask is, is he ready for this? Is he ready for this? Because he has, oh my god, he doesn't have that many plantations. And by the looks of it, he's going to be quite close to uh, the goals over here. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be nasty. Oh, we got Montezuma also looking angrily be behind those mountains over there to the northeast. He doesn't have anywhere to go for. Uh, he is between uh, China and, of course, um, the Maya over here. Uh, yeah, and we need to uh, see how Maya is going to try to develop behind this. And also, it's the cool Moy. Oh, I see how it is. It is the cool Moy. <laughs> what a beautiful continent split. A symmetrical. Well, he, yeah, but he's in the middle. And it's not like he's actually, you know, incentivized to go further than six tiles. He needs to stay in a box. It's the Mayan box. It's the tricky box. We're going to need to see how um, you know, Portos over here is going to try to um, get the most bonuses out of the Mayan Empire. Looking at uh, Aduatuka, at least La Lutre is uh, gonna have uh, also quite a few ship tiles to improve. He does have, does have, um, let's see, uh, Iron Tile to the west side. I see a uh, Horse Tile to the east. What are his uh, stones? Like no stones over here? And no, I'm not talking about those stones, guys. I'm talking about, you know, the stones in the game. Come on, stones in the game. Is Lis La Lutre gonna benefit from stones? Oh, no. He has like one, two, three stones, and that's it. Three quarters? Like, really? Is this what you're gonna do to my boy? Got the goals over here? <sighs> no. We got him with a scout coming up in two. He's gonna figure out what's going on here. He's also gonna go against the hull just on the west side. He needs every little bit of help that we can give him. It's uh, just a matter of uh, time until he's gonna figure out uh, how his land looks like. And then he's probably gonna be like, remap. Come on. No, remap. No, no. Set it another time. Let's throw the dice. Let's see what it comes out. And to the northeast, we do have uh, Beijing. And what, what, what is this Zangi Tangxia next to? Oh my god, look how beautiful it is. Zangi Tangxia with uh, cliffs next to it. Really? Okay, that's that's very nice, actually. That's very nice. I see Beijing coming up with a 3 1 uh, base. Uh, this is actually Kublai, right? Yeah, this is Kublai Khan China. This is the China, the big China right now. It's like, uh, you know, King Xi is little China. This is big China. He is um, gonna get quite a few settlers over here. Does have an ability to, um, you know, just sit tight and try as much as possible to get the, that sim going. 
I see um, he's gonna have an ally to the west side. Uh, okay, an opponent to the south is not that bad. It's Phoenicia, it's fine. It's not like he's gonna fight uh, coastally that much. And uh, from what I can see, China can go for those commercials. Early commercials, early merchants, early trade routes. All in all, a good uh, timing for uh, China over here. I do also wanna take a peek over here on Tenochtitlan. Clan. Do you guys see what I see? This is triple continent split Tenochtitlan this is this is the big the big Aztec coming up over here we got to the right side we, we do have a major coming up with the white continent the big red continent in the middle over here with um he, wait a second on its own oh yeah it's two amenities that he can benefit from now and then he has another continent to the west side and another continent to the west side oh my god okay i mean yeah let's go okay more whales uh, more sugar more sugar to be nice over here and i'm pretty sure we're gonna have um him settle this um, river as soon as possible we do have him pumping out a settler in six and he did settle on this geothermal fissure do you guys see uh, uh why is this not moving by the way wasn't the geothermal fissure actually pumping out uh, like uh, you know puffs of smoke or something like that i i'm pretty sure that's what happens with the geothermal fissure when are the geothermal fissures is there any any other that i can actually watch come on show me the way show me the way where, where was it there was another one i'm pretty sure i saw another one i don't know what it is but i'm pretty sure i saw another one. Oh yeah there we go no no puffs of smoke no puffy puffy oh oh from afar you can actually see the smoke but it's like oh man bro where are the puffs of smoke oh man oh, they did that my geothermals bad bro uh, I, I'm not sure why, but by the way, my chat keeps reconnecting, disconnecting, reconnecting, and I'm, I might actually lose a few um, uh, chat messages over here. I'm sorry if I uh, do not respond. Uh, what uh, is up with Laurasia? Laurasia is just, yeah, one um, little tiny reddish continent that is going to have a peninsula over there to the north, and it looks like a uh, goal is going to be on, uh, on it to the south. Now, we do have also, oh, Byzantium. Oh, Byzantium. So close to the big goal over here. He's going to get his um, holy set quite quickly. And from what I can see, we had some pins going on. Ugh. No pinning, bro. We do have a setter coming up in two. Uh, he is uh, going to probably try to get the cities on the west side and i'm pretty sure he actually saw his opponent over here um, the goal it's just a matter of time until we find if they want this map or not i do want to just put on the screen here the city of tyre he has fresh water coming up from this uh, lake uh this is a big lake the ik kul lake ik kul is this the i cool lake is this is this how you can actually translate it the i am cool lake <laughs> Uh, Twitch is off today. What's happening to me earlier right at the end of the stream, but everything is fine on our end. Okay, okay. I, I, if everything is fine, it's uh, okay. It's all good. Uh, also, of course, so it's all good. It's all good. Um, mm, 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 mm. Little, little trouble with uh, big China. Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I think it's good. It's all good. Beijing over here is going to get uh, uh, good land to settle. That's actually how you want, you know, uh, Kublai Khan China. Just somewhere in a corner. Uh, just seeming... Uh, Oh my god, they actually went both for a remap. Oh. Well, um, we can... Um, we can say that this is gonna be the new map. Like, whatever happens next is gonna happen. <laughs> whatever happens next... This is gonna be the map. Like, okay, let's see it. Let's see it. They both went for one remap. Okay, one remap. Let's actually finish this uh, prediction. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Man, triple continent split Aztec. Not the good continent split, but still, it's uh, it's nice. It's nice. He would have had at least a plus six over here that he could uh, work with, uh, if not a plus uh, seven. 10 points oh no okay so loading into the new map 
we're just a few seconds away from uh, seeing how it uh, looks like and of course hearing that uh, loading voice uh, we uh, fortunately when we do have uh, the new map uh, screen it doesn't actually give us that uh, awesome screen anyway it's fine now uh, we do need to see uh, if uh, we're gonna have them uh, spaced out properly and uh, how did they manage to get their allies next to each other the proximity between them is gonna be quite important to um, uh, well to their game um big question over here what does this map look like uh, what does this map look like this is a very big question no one bet on two remaps i tried <laughs> uh you tried to min max your way into a lot of points i see how it is i see how it is rafifi <laughs> a bat yeah that could be a bat it could look like a bat A Batman Shuriken. Oh, that's actually cool. Yeah, yeah. A messed up T fighter. Oh, that's actually quite. Uh, isn't it? Wait, there was a, a kind of a T fighter that actually had like uh, the wings like this instead of like this. I, I don't know how. It, it was it a T bomber actually or something? It was a two seater instead of a one seater. I don't know exactly how. <laughs> Fat bat. Oh, wow. I think the bat will feel offended, bro. <laughs> He just ate people fat bad. <laughs> we got uh, the goals coming up over here with um, uh, that tobacco tile. And well, he is going to get a faith point from the beginning of the game. That's uh, going to give him a nice and juicy uh, pantheon. We're going to also need to see him uh, settle that. How long, May? Uh, he doesn't actually have, I gotta say, doesn't actually have an easy vision on it. He's actually going to need to step on the banana to see the how long, May. And from what I can see, he's not going to be incentivized. Look at this. He's, oh my God, this is going to happen again. Is this going to happen again? It might happen again. Now we do have him... Uh, and needing those uh, stone tiles and from what i can see he has the same problem doesn't have a lot of stone tiles to work with uh, but at least he's gonna have uh, those um, the strategic resources in the capital the iron and of course the horses coming up in the second ring i do see him uh, benefiting from a 2-1 tile underneath no 2-2 two -two base unfortunately well it happens and um He's going to get a decent amount of uh, land to settle to the south, uh, a little bit to the north as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Japan is not going to want to go uh, inland that far. Now, from what I can see, of course, we do have uh, a few of these, um, actually three of these spy styles to the north over there. Maybe this is going to be good land for uh, both of them to try to snatch. But in the meantime, let's actually take a look at Japan. Japan uh, with a 1-2 base, possible 2-2 two -two if he moves one tile to the left. I don't think he will, just because he doesn't know about the horses, but he does have have a 231 tile over there that could um, be quite powerful that's a fertile i'm pretty sure that's a fertile we we will probably gonna see the foxes foxy foxy yeah we got the foxes over here with the uh, horses next to them and of course some ships uh, after the um, river they're yeah, just you know protected from the foxes now we do have uh, him with a decent amount of uh, sea to settle to the north um Fortunately or fortunately, fortunately for him actually, we do have uh, Aztec to the east side, that's going to be his ally and I'm pretty sure uh, Aztec is going to want to benefit from the continent split he has. On the east side he does have, oh my god, Lemuria and he is on the Co Congo Kraton, that's um, 8 amenities possible that he could uh, benefit from. I think he can get another one here, is this a turtle? Oh, you can see the tiny turtles, tiny turtle, let's go, turtle power. That extra size, that extra gold coming up over here we do have uh, also a geothermal fisher between the mountains and look at this this is gonna be a plus a six a campus easy peasy for mr cory here with a plus four to the west side that's not bad plus three that's so so many amazing campuses that he could settle here uh he did uh, settle in place he's probably gonna settle in place actually that doesn't need uh, to worry about it i think the best settle that he could do instead of in place uh, would actually need to move on the cattle town that's gonna give him that extra extra movement uh, that extra sorry food uh, extra um, how uh, the, the, the growing much faster in the population uh, working more tiles afterwards and so on and so forth the cattle is gonna be amazing beef they want the beef 
In the south, we do have uh, the D click uh, coming up with uh, Rome, uh, which is uh, gonna get quite a few mountains uh, to settle to the northeast. A lot of rivers here, and I do see he has the benefits of um, die styles. These are die styles, as you can see, the flowers over here, uh, giving him uh, that extra faith. He just needs to settle next to them so he can actually gather that extra faith. Hello, Fire Tiger Page, and welcome back. Um, Goober Dragon, good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello there and welcome. Uh, did I mention? Did I miss anybody? I think no. Uh, looks like a da -da 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 -da. Uh, long flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. Pew pew pew. Uh, no B wait, bro. Oh my God, you're going from Phantom. Of it's just like one turn higher, bro. Come on, <laughs> let's come back to reality, man. I'm telling you, the bat will feel offended. You know, I'm telling you, that's that's a problem. <laughs> Don't offend the bat. <laughs> Is Rome on fresh water? Yes, he is on fresh water. He, he did settle on fresh water on the Rupigon River, uh, from what I can see. It's just, uh, unfortunately, the banner stopped it from uh, stopped us from viewing that uh, he does have access to an rental to the west side i do see horses also on the west side uh, second ring that's not gonna be that expensive for him to get and i'm pretty sure he's gonna get uh, a strong empire coming up between the mountains here that's a lot a lot of uh, chops not to mention uh, good campuses uh, we're gonna need to see how he is he gonna develop this um further we do have also hope coming up with a faith tile underneath uh, his capital. That's an incense that's his uh, benefit from. Well, he's gonna have a very smelly empire, a good smelly empire, but a smelly empire nonetheless. Uh, and I do see him uh, benefiting from a scout coming up from uh, Beijing in two turns. Uh, he does benefit from uh, iron tile to the s uh, east side. That's actually gonna be two tiles away. He could get the two three deer tile to the north, but he's not doing it. He's not putting the gold in, and he definitely needs to because. He doesn't have a 2-2 two -two base like well you don't want to you know you, you don't want to run behind your opponent you want to run be ahead of your opponents we do have him with a horse style in three tiles uh, out um, on the east side of his empire and from what i can see he's uh, gonna have a problem with the spacing here for his cities that doesn't have a lot of cities to go for and uh, from what i can see there's one here and then he's gonna block his chances to get another one here so he's gonna need to go north uh, one on cattle maybe one over here that's gonna be four cities and maybe a fifth city to the south and that's it five cities china extravaganza uh, between uh, mr ambiorix and of course uh, on the east side we do have rome i'm pretty sure rome is gonna try to stop him from doing any kind of settling be uh, on the east of these mountains uh, we do need to take a look at next. We got uh, actually Phoenicia coming up in the north with the possibility to do some boom boom on uh, Japan. Uh, this is possible, you know, it's doable. Let's see the boom boom. Uh, Kyoto has plus five boats. We got Byron with plus five boats as well. And uh, let's go, let's go. Fangario, good evening, sir. Also, welcome, welcome. Tiresian, hello. Hey. Uh, good to guys see now every evening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Goober Dagon also, I love this team positioning, LFD to the west and Phantom to the east, looking for um, uh, LFD, well I guess LFD is of course lo looking for D-Shark here, uh, are they totally on the west side, did I miss this, oh there's one member on the other side, isn't it, isn't he, or no, one, two, three, where's Montezuma, uh, four, right, one, two, three, four, oh I see how it is, it's just a roam in the middle of everybody, Oh man, Rome over here. Mm, yeah, what can I say? Well, if it, if there's one nation of yours that you want to put on the front line, it's definitely Rome. It, it's gonna trade punches with the best of them. You've seen yesterday how many cities, how many times he got those cities away from uh, uh, Dido. <laughs> Unstoppable Empire. We got a uh, sport over here coming up with Byzantium. He is gonna get a settler in three, a two, two base underneath his settle, and I do see him uh, benefiting from horses and an iron time to the southwest. He does have a uh, rice tile to settle uh, next. Actually, rice tile to settle next, sheep tile to settle next, uh, settle next to the silk, settle on the citrus. That's a lot of good settlers that he is gonna benefit from. I really like this uh, land all over the place. Uh, he is um, getting his um, population going, getting his production going, at the same time, uh, some amenities. The only thing I have to say I'm not that fond of is his distance between him 
and his opponents. He's gonna be quite far away from applying that magical power that the tag must have to actually take out Aztec over here or an opponent. Any opponent! <laughs> Just let me at him! Let me at him! Objectus, Objectus! Uh, hello, Derson, and welcome back to the stream. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, yeah, it looks like we do have a uh, uh, born a chance over here. May the RNG be with you. Yeah, all the tiki hats. You gotta get the tiki hats. Let's go, let's go. We got some um, fans over here. Lord KNT, good evening, sir. How are you doing? Long time no see. What, what have you been doing? Winning games, winning games. My free sim god spawn. Wait, we're getting that. We're getting that. Don't get ahead of yourself, Fangario. We don't know about Maya yet. So, let's see. Constantinople, very good spawn. Okay, let's... Now we're getting that. Oh! Is it God spawn? Is it? No? It is! Good spawn! Not... I, I can't say I'm, you know, the, the, the saying it's a God, the God spawn. I can't say that, but it is a good spawn. We got him with uh, quite a few of these plantations. So he has banana, he has citrus, more citrus on the west side, um, silk uh, tile to the southeast. And from what I can see, he's pumping out the citrus in one from what camp now? Uh, I, I do also notice he's gonna get uh, quite a few cities to settle here. Not really that phase from that... Um, Inland Sea on the west side, uh, he's gonna get, uh, let's see, one big um, continent to benefit from and the resources on this continent are perfect for Maya. Oh my god, this is like, I don't think he could have asked for a better place. Well, I guess he would. He could have asked for four plantations instead of three and a, a quarry. You see the marble tile over here, that's the fourth of the continent. While well, he has already silk, he has the wine, he has the citrus. I think that's not gonna go well. Wine with oranges, that doesn't go well. Correct me if I don't. Is that, I don't drink that much wine, but you, you, I don't think you can mix them <laughs> properly, right? Or can you? Wasn't there a wine in Spain that you can actually get uh, with oranges? You guys know about it? Do you, not, do you guys know what, I, what I'm talking about? That is like sangria. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got a knower over here. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, horse Vita, or you know what you're talking about over there. If you guys don't know, sangria. It's actually quite uh, amazing to taste. Let me actually take a look uh, over here. Oh my god, it's good that I actually did not uh, put it on the main screen. <laughs> Let me uh, see. Sangria, sangria. Yeah, sangria. Let me uh, get the pictures. Oh my god, why? So, this is basically sangria. Sangria. Yeah, yeah. The best one, yes, yes, it's amazing. And of course, uh, we're gonna have Maya just uh, sip along all of this game, a bit of sangria, and uh, win or try to win the game. We got him uh, getting that settled to the north. Uh, he's uh, finding out uh, that he can improve those bananas, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to get irrigation. There we go, one turn. Uh, he also benefits from horses on the east side, uh, two tiles out that for some reason he put a farm on. I think he thought that he should get one of those uh, observatories uh, to ne next to those uh, silk tiles and then he saw the citrus on the north. I, you know, that, that might happen. So unfortunately he did uh, place that farm in the wrong place. Well, it is what it is. We do have him with uh, an iron tile to the west side. It looks like it's going to be three tiles out, uh, giving him uh, that extra strategic resource, which he will need to trade to his allies because he doesn't actually have um, any kind of benefits uh, from it at this point in time. You know, like it's... He's not gonna need an army. Let's be fair about this. There's nobody invading this territory for any time soon. Uh, we do have uh, to the north uh, coming up um, was the last civilization of the game here on turn 14 we got the uh, Phoenicia coming up with a uh, tire and by the looks of it he's gonna get that northern continent we are waiting waiting patiently waiting over here and of course uh, rooting for some kind of boom boom to happen between a Dido and Japan we're gonna see you know what's gonna happen over here if they're gonna see each other if when, when and how they're gonna meet and how how is this gonna be like? It is some kind of league on tournament? Yes sir, it is! Uh, it's called the CVFR uh, Squadrons and I believe we do have uh, season 10 
if I'm not, yes, this is it. Uh, they are coming up in the third division over here and uh, they're fighting, they're fighting for a slot in the second division. And I, I believe, let's actually take a look. I think LFD won the first game, if I'm not mistaken, but I do want to quickly double check this information so I don't uh, uh, spread some misinformation over here. Give me a second, give me a second. It's uh, reporting. No, Fantomas. Ooh, spooky. They did manage to win the first one, Fantomas. Uh, also, uh, just want to finish uh, Daido uh, to take a look over here. Uh, he does have iron in the capital, horses in the capital, uh, multiple fish tiles to benefit from. Maybe he's going to get Gallop the Sea here. We're going to see who's going to get the first pantheon between uh, him and uh, Japan. Uh, unfortunately, he does have a serious problem with the food. He's going to need a lot of food to work these uh, playing styles. And of course, we just had the war declaration between the two teams. I'm not sure exactly what trick that but something did and we're gonna need to see uh, who's uh, gonna be on the receiving end of all of those uh, amazing units okay now I have some time over here let's actually put the team names uh, on top of the screen here let's see fun Thomas spooky spooky okay and on the other side we do have uh, looking for D shack which is LFD Okay, there we go, there we go. I think I need to put it in the middle. I think that's the middle. Okay, let's go. Uh, LFD won game one, but uh, Hope reported the game with the losers first for some reason. Oh, really? Wait, what? Oh, you're right. Oh my God, this is so confusing. Uh, it says Victoire, they're looking for D Shark, Par CC, uh, turn uh, 9, 4. Oh, I see how it is, okay. Okay, I see how it is. Do you think we are going to see any early CS skills? Uh, by the looks of it, at the moment, uh, we the one that should do that is Aztec, and uh, he's more uh, looking uh, uh, angrily against uh, Rome City that just got set in front of him in the face of uh, Aztec. So I guess uh, he's going to try to do that rather than anything else. We'll see if uh, Rome over here is uh, going to put those units right on time to the north, and I'm pretty sure the next settler should actually go to the south here. Not go to the north, you know. Uh, you know, you don't want to antagonize uh, Aztec. It's enough that you actually for a settle took away his uh, next settle just don't do it anymore you know just stay there <laughs> it's fine uh, also and for with zoni uh, good evening sir and welcome to the stream uh, i didn't want to see oh oh we got a new follower thank you so much sir thank you so much um they are playing as a team one team for uh, yes they are playing so uh, on the right side of the screen lfd is going to play today with uh, four uh members we got lisa lotre um we got cory hope and vtc coming up uh, today as their roster and you can see they're playing the goals they're playing montezuma they're getting Ch in kublai khan china japan power uh and uh they need to go against phantomas on this side we got portos we got tyrem we got Sport and uh, the click, uh, the de click over here, uh, coming up with um, Rome, Basil the second, Dido, and a lady six guy. And as Chad pointed out, they're kind of in the east versus west situation with Rome and Aztec plugged into each other over there. It looks like you know, there's, there's a coupling like this on the map being happening, and I'm pretty sure. Oh man, is that eagle gonna take out Mediolando? <laughs> Oh, uh, no, no, it was wrong, you know, <laughs> man, he saw it, he was like, bro, give me the gold, we need to spend it, I need to defend my city Mediolandum over here, I need the warriors. Is it the Phantom Assassin Ghost or is it the comic book ca uh, character? Oh, that's a very good question over here. Do we have any Phantom fans in the house? Maybe, maybe, anybody? Wink, wink, on the stream, on the stream, maybe. Do, is anybody gonna know the answer to this question? As we finish the prediction for this, I think uh, I need to put the prediction for who will win. And again, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I don't know what came over me. I actually clicked on the wrong button. Uh, looking for the shark. 
Okay, and submission period coming up on 13 minutes. We're playing on uh, Pangea standard, and as you can see, we do have uh, already the war started between them. Uh, there was um, a flood over here on the city of Mediolandum that uh, Eagle Warrior did not actually attack the city. I'm actually a bit surprised we don't have Aztec getting at least one more Eagle Warrior. Usually, the go to meta on Aztec is get a few Eagle Warriors and uh, try to bully city states because you do get. Um, to convert the units of a city state into uh, builders uh, which in turn of course uh, you can imagine uh, can give you quite a few um, charges to work with improve your land over there you know for free if it's free everything is good if it's free right yeah, phantomas was first uh, a series in a book uh, in early 20 thc i don't know what that is. Uh, then in the 70s there's been a french films with phantomas as a hero oh well yeah but which is which are they is it Phantomas the ghost or is it Phantomas the movie character, the hero? Is it like Superman? Is that kind of a hero over here? Is, is, is he like going through walls and so on? So instead of Superman actually smashing through walls, it's uh, like Phantomas just goes through them. Passes. That's freaky. Ooh, can you imagine just passing through walls? How do you stay on the floor? You know how like... I always thought about it. Did you guys actually ask yourselves if somebody can pass through walls? How is he standing on the floor? How is he not falling until he hits rocks? <laughs> you know, <laughs> continuously falling toward the middle of the earth and stuff. Anyway, uh, it's in the it's the spirit of uh, Louis the Fume himself. Ah, <laughs> I see how it is. Okay, well we we shall see how uh, Louis the Fume is gonna play this thing eh? we got Lisla Lotra going for that third city to the west side he did pick up God of Craftsman and already got uh, an improvement on an island time that's a 1-4-1-1-1 one, 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 uh, coming up uh, next to his captain looks like he is uh, gonna need to improve his horses as well to the east and, and did of course uh, benefit from the tobacco from the beginning what do you think guys did he see Halong Bay is this Halong Bay actually? Or is this Halong Bay? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Come on, first one to say yes or no. First one to say and I'm going to open up the vision to see if uh, this is uh, the exactly the most elusive wonder or did he actually see it? Xifi, good evening sir, bonsoir. Let's see it. Oh, he saw it. He saw it. No, he, he did. He did. He did. It's fine. He did. He just chose to ignore it. <laughs> you know? Um, okay. We do have uh, him uh, coming up with a few builders uh, from his uh, cities. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to go for the mines and, of course, the um, culture that he's coming up with the mines. Uh, I do also want to take a look at the other players' uh, pantheons. We got City Patreon Goddess coming up for Japan, putting down his harbors, building them quite quickly. Uh, and that actually gives me an idea. Maybe Daido actually did not pick uh, God of the Sea, or was it? Okay, Religious Settlements coming up for... Wait, is this Religious Settlements China with five cities maximum? Oh no, he's gonna find out the hard way that he doesn't have where to settle and he said, oh my god, he set himself up on this one. Honestly, bro, what did you do? Like, look, look, look how many settlers he has. One here to the south of uh, southwest of Beijing, another one here, and that's it. Where is he gonna go? Like, really, where is he gonna go? Is he gonna take land for big gold? No. Is he gonna settle right in the face of uh, Rome? I'm pretty sure not. So what is he gonna do, bro? Religious settlements. Why religious settlements? Oh my God. Well, maybe this was a deny. I'm pretty sure this might have been a deny. Um, or maybe he just didn't have anything uh, good to pick at that point. It might happen. We don't know. Uh, quite a few um, pantheons did get picked up uh, quite quickly. So maybe it was something that he couldn't... Uh, it wasn't something that he could have picked uh, otherwise. Maybe next to the sea on the east side over here to the south of Rome. I don't know, man. You're in, uh, well, first of all, he's going to actually need to go across the water because this mountain is actually blocking him from going <laughs> across the river. Oh, man. Oh, man. The, the nature strikes over here and uh, China's going to have a problem with uh, the mountains. Uh, he could settle in the face of Rome if uh, Aztec keeps Rome busy. Yeah, but he needs to get that settler all across to the north over there or in the seas. I don't know, man. That's, uh, that sounds dangerous. I, uh, it feels very dangerous to me. I'm not touching that, bro. I'm not touching that. Fire. 
Hali the spider. Good evening. Hello there, sir. Uh, which natural wonders do we have? That's a good question. So we saw how long Bay on the west side over here, and then we're gonna need the gold to get it. Uh, did I see another one? Did I see another one? I don't see another one. Let's actually take a look here. Uh, Mato Tipila to the south of uh, the city states over here uh, do we have another do we have another uh crater lake coming up to the north of uh, aztec and by looks of it uh, aztec did not get the pantheon yet okay uh, okay that's three do we have a fourth one do we have a fourth one any takers any winners any winners any takers oh lake red bar coming up uh, for uh, portos and the uh, by looks of it portos is trying to settle closer to it but oh man he's gonna have a problem he can't settle that, uh, you know, further away from uh, his city, uh, from his city center. So he's going to have to choose where he's going to go here. Uh, okay, okay. We do have a fertility rise coming up for Maya. Actually, quite a surprise. Usually in this kind of position, you do see the players going for goddess of festivals uh, because they do get that extra culture along with uh, the plantations they're going to build. He has three plantation continent. You can imagine that's uh, going to be quite a bit of, uh, that could have been actually quite a bit of culture, but he did not do it. He went for the free builder and um, that um, ability to get more food on the cattle tile on the rice tile and so on and so forth um, and that is going to give him more population we do have god of the sea picked up for dido he's starting to get that extra production on his uh, coastal resources and that's uh, one two three resources that he already improved has another two more here uh, and i gotta say i can't really see an easy city state for him to take out which is kind of a bummer uh, usually with the boats or on any nation you don't want to um, uh, do as much damage as possible and get as many of those uh, city states as uh, you know from the beginning uh, Fantomas with uh, two thirds of the map yeah the guys over here on the right side they do have a lot of map to work with I can't say I see this land ba uh, how to say uh, being weak over here we do have japan with uh, quite a few cities that he could settle next to good mountains uh, he just has a serious issue with the food there even if he has uh, some fish tiles those planes will need a little bit more food on them uh, you know you get them a bit fatter uh, we do have uh, the goal over here with um, elise la lotre uh, coming up with um, god of craftsman and uh, quite a few opidums uh, he's starting to get the culture out from his mines and from what i can see his uh, volcano is exploding Loading. He has a very active nature. Yeah, nature calls, bro. We got uh, Moksha over here coming up in Aduatuka in two tents, a builder in two also, and gets more builders from his other cities. And I'm a bit surprised he didn't go and, you know, metamorphose into another three cities. Why did you not do that, bro? Instant by Moses. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got God of the Forge Rome. Oh my god. Let's go, Rome. Show us what you got, Rome. Is he gonna go north? Is he actually gonna try to take out uh, Aztec over here? I don't think so. He didn't go in Camus. He just went uh, God of the Forge Campus. Campus. And it looks like uh, he's uh, starting to get a few more cities here. Uh, didn't go for the max. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't really say I blame him. He did put Ravenna on a 2-2 base with uh, another 2-2 tile to work. Another two ones, actually. Uh, he does have uh, another spot here to the south with uh, some uh, fresh water. And he's going to block that um, ability of China to go through. Uh, oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, for China to settle here, he needs like 15 turns, guys. 15 turns. That's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. I gotta say, I would love to see this happening. Like, if this would happen and Rome would be oblivious to it, I would laugh so hard. I don't think I'm gonna stop until I'm gonna go to sleep, you know. We got uh, also Sacred Path coming up from Byzantium, one of the reddest pantheons I see picked by Byzantium here. Going for choral music with the lay ministry is going to try to get the culture and, of course, uh, the um, faith coming up from his holy sites with the theater squares giving him more culture, more. Uh, he did settle on the silk tile, his second city, and getting himself uh, that extra point of culture and uh, working uh, on a builder now from Constantinople. 
I did manage to get uh, more holy sites built uh, from Edessa, or I should say they're in the build queues now. And uh, we still need him to improve his uh, strategic resources. I don't think he has that big of a hurry, but I would love to see those Tagmas uh, attack over here in Aztec between the mountains. Like, nobody's gonna expect this. Are you gonna expect this, actually? Like, really, are you gonna expect some Tamas just going through the hills next to the mountains of the big Montezuma capital? Also, I gotta ask, why didn't Montezuma actually uh, settle Lemuria yet? You see, you see, not actually wanting to uh, expand his empire, his reach, his bonus damage, his uh, economy over here. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this uh, ends up. I do also want to point out that I really like that Rome is extremely aggressive over here on Cori. Cori only has a single eagle warrior. And I think Rome smelled that uh, Aztec over here is, you know, just a, a tad afraid of doing military units. He just doesn't want to. So he is trying, trying as much as possible to uh, bully Cori behind his, uh, to get back into his cities. We do have uh, more settlers coming up from Tenochtitlan. Uh, Cory did uh, improve a few of his styles, including his uh, amenities here. He does have a fertile improved, which does give him that uh, extra nice and juicy ex uh, point of um, the luxury attack bonus. Not that much, though. Not that much. Not that scary. And uh, from what I can see, finally, Aztec has two Eagle Warriors. Where did this one go? Why is he not? Actually, okay, he's coming back. He's trying to uh, connect them together and try to um, get as many defensive units against Rome as possible. Okay, we got four more turns to go until the next era. And uh, taking a look at the era score here, we got everybody going for the Golden Age. Okay, everybody's doing uh, Viva Simpson, also good evening, sir. Hello there. Uh, what do we have here? Cory uh, is uh, Aqua, very light Bulu. Oh, yes, 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 he's, uh, he's Aztec. Uh, Secret Path is underrated? I do think so, yeah, but you gotta... I don't know if it's underrated, but you, you kind of usually have to chop your tiles anyway, so you kind of lose a lot of that uh, extra adjacency towards your um, holy sites. Some players think, um, and I kind of, you know, understand the point over here, you use the extra tempo that you get from uh, the sacred path, and then you just chop around it, and you, uh, by the time you finish chopping, you already have temples, so you already get a plus six uh, on those uh, anyway. But it's not going to work well with the extra, you know, the double... Uh, holy side card and so on and so forth it's uh, it might not give you the bonuses that you're looking for in the monumentality golden age uh, how long in hours are multi games it kind of depends between let's say two hours maybe like one hour and a half i've seen the, um, the smallest games and they tend to go um, as a long term like five six hours i would say i don't think we we have one that actually achieved like seven hours for some time yeah the average i would say it's around three hours and a half four hours looking at my uh, at how long my discord streams are uh, my screams my streams are wow oh my god my screams oh no um they are about that long let me actually take a look over here i was uh, getting pinged Ping ping. Oh, hello. I just had a new member popping into my uh, Discord over here. I need to welcome F accordingly, of course. Hello there, hello there. Okay. Uh, Aztec, Aztec, Aztec coming up here. We do have uh, Rome coming up from the east side. Aztec looks like uh, he's gonna want to pillage this while the click uh, is gonna try to uh, take out that scout. It's all about the first moves and we're gonna see if uh, Aztec is gonna be successful into, um, well, taking a little bit of sip. Uh, yeah, he is gonna be successful. He did um, first move that pillage and it looks like press P for pillage actually worked this time. Now we do have uh, the 21 science entering uh, right now acquired by the Aztec Empire, but he did give up on a scout for it and uh, really quickly before we actually get into the next era i do want to get uh, some water so i am prepared totally prepared for the mid game Oh, 
no. My water is not next to. No, it's not at the bar. It's not over here next to the bar. It's actually one story down. I don't want to climb that. I don't want to go there. It's too long. It's. I have to run until. I, no, 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 no. I did get some Fanta. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I got Fanta instead of water this time. I'm sorry. Yep, he was a brave st scout indeed. I'm gonna see. Oh, we got a new member. Oh my god, Goober. Goober. Hello. Big hugs. Big, 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 big. We got uh, Inkyaman coming out from Mediolanum. Uh, looks like Moksha is going in that city as well. Magnus uh, in the capital city of Rome. And I think we're just uh, one turn away from actually getting the next golden. Yeah, we're one turn away. Uh, it looks like uh, we're going to need to see the civilizations over here getting their um, units going. And of course the city is going. I'm a bit surprised they're a bit late on their expansions. The fourth and the fifth city is uh, still coming out right now we do have uh, goal finishing up those opidums getting the production actually looking at the production screen here he does have 41 to work with the most productive in the game uh, and i do have to point out it, it doesn't look like he actually had a lot to work with here I'm gonna need to uh, definitely get more series out and i wouldn't be surprised if he's gonna put more settlers coming out from aduatuka and divodurum we got actually China coming up with uh, the fifth city uh, soon enough. He's gonna plant it down uh, to the south of Ayutthaya, and that might be an idea for him to uh, take out. That would be an easy city state for him to take over. Uh, going for early commercials, did put down his uh, government plaza in the capital, and I'm well, looking at what's going on here, he is working internals here. Uh, Governor Magnus established in uh, Beijing, getting more builders, uh, and uh, I see him uh, improving quite a few of his uh, tiles. Yeah, we do also uh, give me a second over here so I can uh, close pop up. Okay, uh, we do have uh, Rome going for government plaza from the capital, also going for internals. Uh, what's happening here in Byzantium? Byzantium, Byzantium, Byzantium. Still not going for the fourth and the fifth set, but I guess he's gonna get to use his uh, faith per ten of 27 faith uh, to actually. Um, get more settlers and uh, move oh, out of his uh, cities in the meantime he's trying to get a government plaza next to his um, built holy site and we'll see how that is I'm gonna help him out good and abon salty can be better hello hello there ma'am how are you doing tonight how are you doing we do have uh, Maya also coming up with uh, Hanging Gardens. Of course, this is a go-to wonder for uh, Maya. Uh, he is going to try to get that extra um, uh, housing in his empire, not to mention the extra growth. Uh, he did also go for fertility exactly for that idea. And I'm a bit surprised he still is uh, working that horse. Uh, horse style, or I should say the farm on the horse style. Can you imagine these horses, by the way? Eeyaw, they're over there just uh, smashing through the corn. Oh, really, bro? Like, why would you put... Uh, farms on top of horses how does that work we do need to also see him uh, getting a lot more cities over here he's kind of you know in the middle of things so i would imagine he's uh, gonna try to get as many cities as possible uh, he should be uh, out from uh, any kind of uh, danger here uh, we do have also Phoenicia coming up with um, more settlers. There we go. Governor Plazas brrr, got settled to the northwest of Caguana. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe uh, he should definitely acquire the horse tile. Because honestly, like sometimes the city states like to troll you and get the tiles away from you. Can you imagine how mad uh, Tyrem is going to be if uh, that horse tile is uh, actually going to get acquired by Caguana? Yeah, yeah, they are using the horses to pull the plows. Yeah, oh wait, Trojan man, yeah, making a very good point over here. Yeah, exactly. Or uh, are the plows pushing the horses? You don't, you never know, man. Like the farms is on top of the horse, not underneath the horse. I don't know, it's like so weird. Graphics, man, graphics, you know, like in this game, sometimes graphics are uh, quite weird. Uh, we do need to take a look at the uh, Golden Age options. We got Portos coming up with a pen, brush and voice uh, Golden Age. 15 science, 17 culture and it looks like um, uh, he's gonna get to work that uh, Golden Age uh, very nicely. The pen, brush and voice is gonna give him the extra culture coming up from each of these um, 
no, observatory, sorry, I should say districts built. We got Tyrem with a pen by voice uh, golden age on uh, Phoenicia, and uh, he is going to get quite a few Cothons to work at the beginning. I would really love him actually trying to get uh, some scouting done because he, oh, did they see this? I think they saw this. Oh, they're going to find out. Oh, they don't know about Japan yet. They don't know about Japan yet. This is going to be danger. <laughs> uh mc h t s m s k hello there sir and thank you so much for the follow i'm not sure how to pronounce that uh, in uh, you know uh, fluently i'm gonna try don't don't throw anything at me is, is that how you pronounce it is that that's how it is is it normal that these loyalty debuffs for new cities are uh, that high or is that a uh, pvp mod thing it's uh, if you uh, take a look at the more things actually whenever i place the um, four lands it gives uh, the loyalty towards me not actually between them they have a totally different uh, loyalty pressure against them so i'm pretty sure it's not going to be minus 17 here or minus 20 it's going to be different now uh, it's just because I'm observer and I don't actually apply any kind of uh, pressure on the map, it gives uh, the full pressure towards me. So you get some skewed numbers uh, in between. Okay, let's uh, see what's uh, going on uh, next. We do have uh, Sporot coming up with a Monumentality Golden Age. He is going to get that um, extra movement on the builders. And by the looks of it, he is going to get uh, quite a few of them built. Going for very early Hippodromes. I'm not so sure this is the correct way of uh, doing things. Maybe he is going to try to get... Um, wait, is he actually going to try to get the Colosseum here? What do you think, guys? Is he actually going to try to get Colosseum in Antioch? Is this going to happen? Because he has already these uh, builders ready to go. He's ready to chop. I'm pretty sure he's, uh, oh my god, going to use Magnus also in that city to get that going. And Hippodromes is coming up in two turns. Wow. These uh, guys are crazy good. I've been playing against the ATI on the BBG mode and it's hard as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we do have, uh, let's see, Trajan coming up with a Pembrush and Voice of Golden Age on uh, Rome. He did get his first Legion and look at the damage. <laughs> Cody, what you gonna do, bro? Get horses out? Eho, I'm not sure if that's gonna work. We're gonna need to see these uh, Legions actually get more Legions with the chop ability. And looks like uh, the D click is also gonna get uh, the ability to get a uh, very quick. Um, how to say a uh, general he's starting to get uh, great general points maybe he could plug in the card and uh, try to get some, at least one project from Mediolandum uh, looks like at the moment he's more concerned of uh, tagging his opponent rather than doing anything else uh, we do have uh, also Odin Chamber coming up next turn and I do see the click uh, trying to get more of these uh, gold points coming up from the plantations he has in the capital the bananas are gonna give him the food and of course the gold we got Lisla Lotra coming up with Ambiorix from the west side. Still on three cities. This is a bit late as an expansion. We're going to need to see how he's going to do here. Any split for Axe? Aztec? Yes. But he's not using it. He would have a city over here, which will give him at least one extra amenity on the marble tile. But he's not using it. Could take over Valletta, not using it. I, I'm not sure about it. But to be fair to him, if he settles any city over here to the east side, he's just going to expose himself to Byzantium. And I think he's worried about the Rome enough. You know? Let's, yeah. Arkis, let's go. Hope. Hope is Kublai China. He's uh, trying to expand over here, getting that... Um, Temple of Artemis, and I do see uh, we got horses coming up from his cities. Maybe Ayothaya is gonna be doomed. Doomed, I tell you. We got uh, more markets coming up from his cities. Going for pyramids and Temple of Artemis at the same time. Wait, what? Wait a second. Okay, this is interesting. Also putting down a few of those uh, commercials. Nice and juicy. I was expecting actually mar uh, not mar uh, what the how how uh, I was expecting uh, harbors, not actually um, uh, commercials. But it is what it is. He, he went that way. So now we're gonna see him uh, acquire the merchant points. We do also see a Montezuma coming up uh, with a bit of a defense here. His eagle warriors are behind the rivers uh, in a lot of floodable terrain here. And it looks like Rome is trying to snipe away that Aztec eagle warrior before he actually gets into a powerful uh, unit. 
Uh, Odin Shaber being chopped in the Aztec capital. Tenochtitlan is uh, going to finish it in uh, two turns. And I do see Cory over here did manage to also build one of these encampments. He's actually three points um, going for this. He did plug in the card while Rome did not. I think he forgot what leader he is. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we do have uh, also Hojo Tokyo coming up with a pen brush and voice uh, Golden Age. Hojo is for series already. He did put one uh, between the mountains over here to the south. Uh, and that's going to be what? A plus a five? Plus a five coming up from Osaka. He did also build his Gavron Plaza. Couldn't uh, specialize it yet. He didn't specialize it. You know, no building over there. And I do see him uh, being trolled a little bit by La uh, can we man is Lahore gonna give Vitesi the chance to settle a city or not this is such a troll from Lahore and you, you see immediately Japan is putting a few boats into Lahore oh you do this to me I take a city okay okay you give me one you you not give me space for my cities bro I take back what you own. We do have a few lighthouses coming up from uh, Nagoya. I do see uh, also Kyoto building up those lighthouses to get the trade routes. And I'm certain they're going to need to get the gold uh, for those upgrades in the next part of the game. Uh, we do. I still want to see this. Like, is he just going to stand there? No, he moved. He moved. Oh, Japan, let's do it. Do it fast, bro. Do it fast. Yes, plug it in. Plug it in. A 2 to 1 uh, base. It does look like uh, he's uh, still going to need to upgrade those fish tiles and the crab tiles for some extra food. Uh, and that also, uh, well, kind of allows him to attack Lahore much easily with those two boats. I don't think the two boats are going to be enough, though, to take out Lahore entirely. The city cannot be put under siege, and it is 23 strength with the warrior inside of it. If Lahore decides to troll some more Japan and get, just gets a boat, it's going to be a serious problem over here for uh, Japan. We do need to see uh, what this is uh, going to happen here and I'm very, very, very disappointed we don't actually have Rome chopping more units with the legions. Come on bro, you get the legions. Oh my god. Oh wait, why is there an entertainment complex being built here? Hello? Emergency hotline. Aztec is building an entertainment complex. Chat, what should we do in this case? Did you see announce from announce of announce and Civ DLCs? Yes, I did see the announcement of announcement of announcement from Civ DLC. I do not know what it is. I have no idea. And uh, let's see. Let, look, look. I'm gonna actually do this. I'm gonna put up a poll. Uh, what will Fire Axis do? Uh, let's see. Uh, publish a DLC. Publish. Uh, cat skull. Another cat skull. Publish. Uh, uh, graphic update. Publish. Play with our hearts. Check this out. Check this out. Let's see. Let's see what the what do the viewers want over here. Let's see. What do you guys want? Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, he built the entertainment for one uh, general point. Uh, yeah, of a general point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's still building it. He didn't finish it yet. It's still there. And he has uh, three great general points at 10 with one great general. So let's see, guys. What do you think Fire Axis is doing right now? What do you think Fire Axis is doing right now? <laughs> so let's see how many of you actually think this is uh, going to happen. Let, let, let's see. A launcher update yes exactly or a launcher update graphical up i think that actually goes into graphic update like it's you know <laughs> it's just gonna be like a um a facelift you know how uh, sometimes uh, the car dealers want to just make a facelift it's the same car but now with a new face <laughs> you know just a little bit of tiny details over there you know like a more rounded uh, uh, bars or i should say like lines and you get <laughs> like a more aggressive uh, 
<laughs> Lights. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess uh, everybody's laughing about this. We got kicked W winning again. 16 times the detail. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, it, it, it's all in the details, man. Chris Johan, good evening, sir. Hello there. <laughs> we do have uh, Colosseum being put down from Antioch. And from what I can see, Sport is uh, going to try to chop it out. Oh, look at him go. We do have uh, one, two, three more chops that can go out right now. And uh, I do see him moving for them. Let's actually see if he's going to have uh, enough, enough, enough uh, power, enough production to take that uh, take that uh, Colosseum. Uh, going for the eight, going for the five, and going for the two. It looks like two more turns to finish Colosseum. It is going to be much faster than Aztec can go for it. And from what I can see, of course, uh, Aztec is uh, going to need to defend himself against the upcoming attack from Rome while he is putting horses somewhere in the north. Hello? Like, uh, what happened here? Was there something happening over here? Was there a scout? Was, uh, something must have happened. I think it was a scout. I think it was a scout from uh, Byzantium or something like a warrior. Oh no, he is the scout from Sport. Man, Phantomas guys are everywhere. They're going through mountains, they're going through tires, they're going through cities, they're going through units. They're everywhere. They can see behind enemy lines over here. And it does look like uh, they're scaring a little bit uh, Aztec. Aztec, get a hold of yourself, man. Get back in line. Let's do it. We do have um, quite a few archers coming up from Rome uh, needing to cross that river and of course uh, get into the archer line of Aztec. We're going to see the counterattack uh, soon enough coming up from uh, Aztec into these uh, Roman units. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Rome is going to try to get uh, more of these legions on the map here towards the north. It looks like uh, that's exactly what's going on. Has a bit of an issue with um, the movement towards the north. He did build some roads, but uh, they're not connecting Ravenna to Neolandum. And those are going to be quite a few turns uh, for uh, that city to replenish anything on the front line. Uh, we do also see uh, Rome over here. It's I gotta say, he's even if he has the bigger army out of the two, he's not really using it. He's just sitting over there on a lot of army and uh, he should start pushing soon He's, oh what is happening over here i i guess uh, i'm just getting ahead of myself over here maybe you know he's not ready for this he's gonna be ready when he's gonna be ready uh, looks like um, most of the chat is coming out with another vote over here it's five votes for play with our hearts yeah what what will fire axis do they're gonna play with our hearts or <laughs> kick w what do you want da -da 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 -da. or kick w <laughs> sheesh early colosseum indeed yes you called it and it looks like antioch built it uh, sport uh, did manage to get that colosseum quite early in the game 38 38 we got an audience chamber coming out um, from constantinople uh, and i do see uh, sport is going to get uh, quite a few builders with that face generation he has 49 faith a turn. that's not bad and i'm pretty sure he's uh, not that far away from uh, uh, trying to get tagmas out of course uh, he did build this colosseum he's hippodrome a bit earlier uh, to actually get any kind of benefit from it but i'm sure he's gonna get there you know he's gonna get there it's fine he just needs to settle more cities we do have also uh, Phoenicia trying to settle as many cities as possible, trying to get those trade routes between those. Uh, and uh, we got a winner. Ding, 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 ding. We got a winner. We got Kek W <laughs> coming up over here from a what will finances do kind of poll. And the second runner up, the second option was uh, play with our hearts. The third one was actually published a DLC. So it looks like not that many viewers over here have the confidence that finances will actually put out the DLC, you know, it's like, uh, we don't know yet, like, let's, let's see what's happening, they didn't make an official announcement yet, they, you know, it's all in the stars, we don't, we don't know, we, we just don't know, anyone go for Ancestral Hall, I doubt it, I doubt it, seriously doubt it, Audience Chamber coming up from Tyre, 
It looks like, um, of course, he's gonna settle, uh, like, there's no tomorrow over here, two, four, six series already, he's gonna get uh, more uh, soon enough, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see uh, Maya do the same thing here, we got him on two, four, five series, coming for audience chamber, and I do see him getting a few more builders, uh, he did manage to get a lot of science coming up from those, these observatories, on 41 science at 10 and 36 culture, he does uh, get construction in two, defensive tactics in two, and of course, in uh, classical Republic for an extra amenity, now, we do have him also recruiting Hypatia as the one of the first scientists in the game and Lahore did just die over here oh my god I told you man Japan the second he got disrespected over there smashed Lahore to the ground he was like no bro no bro I no no just bro you, you gotta you know you gotta be in my empire now it's fine, you had your party over here, I know you spilled a drink on me, that's not gonna happen a second time. We got um, also coming up here from the goals, and we do have him with um, Etemenanki coming up in Samaro Briva, that's not gonna be bad actually, oh my god, look at that city, that city, I think the only way that city is good if uh, he's going Etemenanki, otherwise he has no chance of making that good, he's getting Li Yang in there, he's gonna have so many tiles improved, oh my god, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tiles, 15, 16 tiles. Can you imagine getting 16 tiles with a Temenanki bonus on you? And uh, Liang, wow, that that's just so big, bro. I mean, I, I, wait, did he just, he denied hanging gardens from Maya? He did hanging. Mar uh, oh my God! Hanging Gardens was actually uh, built in uh, the Gallic Empire, while we did have Maya cycling for the sex, uh, second choice over here for Great Bath. Oh, ew! Not the Great Bath. Oh man. We do have uh, Pingala also settling in uh, Uxmal, and uh, from what I can see, he is uh, still not. Uh, oh making up his mind what kind of city state he's gonna take out he has granada to the east side maybe buenos aires to the south uh, and to the north uh, they do have a samarkand between him and the phoenicia maybe they want to keep those city states uh, so they can benefit a little bit from their bonuses oh now we got a bigger army okay i see how it is you just uh, wait for me to turn my vision from this and then you build an army i see how it is they click okay I'm watching you bro i'm watching you let's actually take a look over here in the city states we still have muscat and the samarkand coming up for the gold buenos aires with brussels will be the ones for industry we got the jerusalem the only city providing them with the bonuses towards the religion and of course that's going to probably only going to be available for uh, uh, byzantium to use and then we got valletta and granada you see oh my god he's pulling so hard rome over here Rome, what are you doing, bro? What's happening over here? I, I see you're getting bullied. Are you okay? I see you. I see you. This is like in the... Whoa! MVP is people. Yes, MVP is always people. People, people, people. <laughs> Also, Papa Sparta, good evening, sir. Hello there. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the uh, tier one, uh, two subs over here. Thank you. We got Goober Dragon and we got Nutrition Intense. Where is Pauline? Pauline, Pauline. I gotta say, more people are actually asking for Pauline, and uh, we do need to see when she will have, of course, a little bit of time for, um, for us. Maybe she will uh, get some time off uh, soon, and we're gonna get to see her uh, on stream again, uh, and of course, uh, get to comment with. Uh, with uh, on uh, one of the games we don't know exactly when uh, that's gonna happen We're still waiting to see what's uh, what's up there uh, pa pa Sparta, that's uh, what you get for not answering wait i did not answer good evening sir oh my god i'm so sorry i was uh, taking a look at uh, the d click over here thank you so much for the uh, subs much appreciated sir and I hope uh, you also had a great weekend, uh, football, football all around, uh, indoor football, how are, uh, how to say, uh, how are the players doing? Oh, 
that's amazing. Congratulations. Oh, wait, you get smashed this season? But that's how it works, right? You, that's how you get experience and that's how you grow, I believe. You need to play with higher tiers to get more experience, uh, to uh, try to keep uh, how to say, up with them. And then trying keeping up with them, you need to uh, you realize that you need to do more training. Doing more training, you get better and uh, so on and so forth. It's like a circle of uh, improvement that needs to be started. I think the only, usually the only um, constant is the mind right it's the uh, how you approach this if you don't have a certain attitude towards getting better you just cannot get better you're, you're not gonna go through that stress of actually losing a lot of games and playing against better people and so on and it's like all of the time getting pressured We do see uh, Rome did manage to cross the river with uh, two legions. He has a serious problem over here with uh, the archers. Uh, and it does uh, seem like uh, he's going to try to, um, uh, well, counter over here what Aztec is doing. Uh, Aztec did manage to get a few uh, horses of his own. And I don't see he, I don't see the generals. What are the generals? Aztec 2.3 points, Maya 2.3 points, and Roman 1. Oh, he's getting a, a camel training project in two turns. Okay, that's going to be nice. He's going to get some extra power over here. Uh, he needs to be careful against these archers though these archers are gonna actually shoot back with uh, vengeance is the amateur level yes i was uh, picking when i was like 15 17 uh, now when i'm in my peak years uh, my lungs are not agreeing with me <laughs> i know with the yeah i know what you're saying about the lungs but yeah uh Kaguana also being taken out looks like Fronisha yeah doesn't want to take any more disrespect from that city state and he's gonna uh, try to bully it uh, into submission here I do see uh, the Phoenician horses are uh, ehawing next to it and we do have a spearman inside of the city of uh, Kaguana just sitting over there scared and holding out a spear out you know just, just poking the walls we do have a few uh, by names also coming up from uh, Z's. He did probably figure out about Japan's spawn. I don't want to double check this. Yes, he did. There's an open space over here to the north that he could just go through. Uh, do we have a good game here? It's slowly evolving into a good game. Colosseum Rush coming up from Byzantium. We did have uh, China uh, getting Temple of Artemis and Pyramids. Looks like he's getting his granaries. We got uh, him also taking down Ayutthaya. And he's slowly, slowly getting um, on the west of Rome over here. Might even uh, try to do some... Uh, picking with uh, his horses uh, look, he did also um, get another settler moving somewhere i'm not sure exactly where oh he's just settling all over the place oh my god okay i see how it is he's just not gonna care that um how to say he's taking land from the goals and from japan he's just gonna have his own way here we do have uh, Rome uh, just uh, staying on the uh, five cities and trying to get uh, an encampment training project for those generals. It looks like uh, he's trying to also push back Aztec. Both of them will have a general soon. Uh, and uh, at the same time, I don't actually see Aztec benefiting from a lot of luxury attack bonus. Only two points? That's... This is a nice East versus West. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice East versus West. Well, it's more like this i was calling it like this because you have like entangled over here you have uh, uh aztec and uh, rome that they're not you know in the middle and we do need to see also what maya is gonna do as usual maya does have the most science in the game and uh, more than decent amount of culture 57 and 39 a strong economy as well and uh, quite a few builders coming off with uh, feudalism let's see the first moves uh, coming off from rome is this gonna be some first moves big brain plays here or no i do think he should actually take out that aztec archer i don't know why he's not doing it d-click should uh, just go across with a legend just uh, and quickly shoot down that archer with his own archers just take it down bro we do have him um, needing to also get more a lot more legions because he's definitely not gonna pressure aztec with uh, what numbers he has at the moment uh Kiaguana just fell to uh, the phoenician power and uh, we do have phoenicia actually getting uh, quite a bit of a fleet over here in the city of ziz maybe you know maybe uh, daido might actually get to caravels uh, sooner rather than later and uh, the fact is he is getting uh, quite a few of these uh, great uh, admiral points on 10 great admiral points a turn while japan is only on six uh, 
Uh, he does have more cities on the coast, while Japan only has like five of them. We do have like one and two and a three and a four and a five cities over here with a six one coming up from Kaguana. Soon enough, he's gonna put out the uh, harbor. Well, I just yes, I know. I just said that they have equal numbers. I know. I know what they did. I know what they did. Don't tell me what they did. Oh, Samaro Briva. Oh man. Guys, have you ever visited Dunkin' Donuts? This is when you go, you watch the menu, you put over there, you know, you get your choice and then they give you that box and it's like in your face, you, you get that box over there and you hold it and then you open it and the smell comes out that's the feeling you have when you see this city right someone over there that, that's exactly the feeling the, the first smell of your awesomeness donuts over there from dunkin donuts oh my god oh man oh <sighs> papa chilling hello there how are you doing, sir? Uh, Leeds Mets and um, one plane, a little other. Uh, what, 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 what was happening there? Cherry water, man, left cherry water. Yeah. Cherry water, yes, cherry, exactly. That city will only get better indeed. He's just going to need to put farms all over the place over here. Just spread them out, bro, spread them out. <laughs> he did manage to get Liang with the extra... Uh, Pro, uh, extra production and he does have uh, so much science coming out of this this i think he has well i guess he has four science because you know um, five science yeah five science coming up from him because you know he's only on a four population here we do have uh, more campuses coming up from the other side he did finish that audience chamber he needs to grow so quickly getting a builder in the hopes that he's gonna spread uh, more of uh, uh, more uh, food over there on the tiles getting bigger getting stronger make the most out of your donuts man um hey man, that was uh, so great <laughs> thank you um morning everyone good morning good morning sir we do need to see if uh, Byzantium is uh, gonna try to do some shenanigans against Aztec and I'm pretty sure uh, Rome over here is in a world of trouble. On the west side we do have Hope just getting through the mountains and trying to figure out if he can actually pokey pokey over here the D-click on uh, Rome. Uh, we do have him with an exposed west side. He's, oh no, what is going on? He's d click you're exposing yourself to China and China is not gonna take... Uh, I want to say a break here. He's just gonna go against you. Yeah, we do have uh, actually, unfortunately, the Habub. Habub is going through the Chinese cities with a vengeance over here. Hob is gonna need to do something about Habub. And you can see uh, Habub is also st uh, starting to improve some of the tiles. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll see if uh, Hob is gonna. <gasps> no, the builder. He gonna take builder. Well, we do have um, uh, commercials coming up from Rome. He's going to get um, extra points from that uh, Splendid. And uh, from what I can see in the tech side here, in the era score screen, actually, we got uh, eight more turns until the next era. And uh, we do need to see them actually getting that next era. Uh, Porto's going to be um, seven points away, uh, nine points away, I mean. We got Tyrem on 44-44. Uh, Is that a golden? No, he needs 11 more points. We got Sporot here, eight points away. The D-Click uh, coming up with seven points. Uh, Lisla Lutre is going to be... Uh, 54 out of 63 so again nine more points to go for the next one Cory is dark age not even a normal age material we do need to see if uh, Aztec is gonna get back on the horse here and uh, try to uh, do some smashing. He's trying to output some settlers. He's still getting pressured by Rome. Did get a serious line of defense here. Those horses are helping him defend. And I gotta say, this is extremely hard land for Rome to push through. So many rivers, so many floodable terrain tiles, so many... Uh, uh, floods that can appear and take out his units really quickly uh, we do have also hope 48 49 he's trying to get uh, his golden but i don't know if he's gonna manage to do so he's trying to get a few campuses here and there getting more of these markets and i'm pretty sure he's gonna try to get oh he already got a boat okay he has a boat 
VTC or also 37. Oh, it poked in and got the warrior. Got the builder. He got a builder. Uh oh, hello. How are you doing? You're mine now. This is mine. This is mine. <laughs> You're still recovering. Wait, what, what happened, bro? What happened? Project Cisco, also good evening, so How are you doing tonight? How are you doing? All good? Oh, how was your day? Hope you, uh, yeah, oh, oh, what happened, Papa Chilling? What happened to you, bro? I saw you streaming, like, did you get something uh, in the last few days or something? Oh, no. Give me a second, was trying to figure out uh, something really quickly here. okay okay so we do have um, also Maya coming up on the east side coming up with uh, quite a few uh, builders uh, of course he's gonna need to go for the next um, uh, uh, next part of the development of the series here um, I, I hate the fact my favorite nation Rome is getting uh, well he's getting attacked by multiple sides again after yesterday but yesterday he did stay alive. I don't know, man. A hardcore fever. It's been three, four days non-stop. All good. I'm just going through it, brother. Okay. Well, I hope uh, you're going to get better soon. Also, I'm good. Thanks. And uh, I'm wondering from a long day. How about yourself? Uh, well, I, I guess my day just started <laughs> a few hours ago when I started streaming. Uh, just uh, doing going through the motions over here, trying to uh, see what the game is uh, coming up with. And we're going to see, uh, of course, what uh, result we're going to have today. Let me get my violin out for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do see a uh, click Unfortunately, it's going to fo be forced to retreat uh, next to the city of uh, Kume. And we're going to uh, need to take a look how he's uh, actually going to um, uh, do this uh, next. Uh, how, what kind of attack he's going to pull off here. Even if he did manage to get the general, Aztec is, uh, you can see he's parading his uh, own general in the face of uh, Rome. He wants to get the vision over uh, the Roman units. And of course, he knows that he's not going to get under attack there. We also uh, see um, uh, China is trying to get a uh, little bit of attack done on Ravenna from behind of, uh, the units of Kume. Uh, he's uh, just uh, trying to pressure as much Rome uh, to move his units to the west side. Not really caring, you know, about what's happening on the north. Uh, he is um, also not caring about taking cities or uh, doing pillages or something like that. It's just uh, to force Rome to defend his west as much as possible. Uh, in the, and we're going to need to keep the era score screen here uh, the closer we get to the next age I'm pretty sure we're going to need to see how many of these uh, boys are going to manage to get their uh, golden age options and of course we're going to need to see if uh, they do manage to um, um, get their golden age points the era score I do think I do think uh, there's going to be an attack coming between uh, Japan and uh, Phoenicia uh, we do have uh, Ziz coming up over here to the with uh, quite a bit of a navy and I don't see the same thing happening on Japan he only has like one boat uh, to work with and another boat coming up from Nagoya that's not really a navy uh, looking at the uh, tech side we do have uh, Tyrem going for uh, buttress in two turns while VTC is uh, ba barely getting apprenticeship and we do have harbor shipping projects also coming out from um, uh, Phoenicia and he's trying to get as many points as possible so when they unlock these uh, animals he's just gonna have uh, how to uh, get all of them. Uh, we might actually see Sporot over here uh, try to bank up as much uh, faith as possible so he can buy out one of those uh, admirals even if it is going to be expensive or maybe just get one you know that's that's also a possibility maybe somebody else can get one I'm not sure who but we'll see we'll see what's uh, going on uh, in the meantime of course a lot of a lot more byrims and uh, quadrims are coming out of the cities here and uh, there are so many harbor shipping projects actually being made uh, Tyrem did manage to get to 46 science and 57 culture um, we do have him with uh, 324 uh, gold at turn as well uh, not ridiculous but it's freaking amazing here wait whoa anyone else getting ri ridiculous amounts of snow wow okay do we actually get snow this year I have no idea by the way we, do, we didn't have snow like good snow for like a few years now uh, in Romania we used to have we used to have like 20 years ago there was a lot of snow now we don't have that much snow 
We got, we got in the um, yield stab. It looks like uh, Portos is gonna be on 29 gold at 10. We got Tyrem on 65. Well, it looks like uh, D click on 14 and Sport on 5. Uh, Lisla Lutre on uh, 9 and he's still uh, expanding over here. We got him on 2, 4, 6, 7 cities um, by the looks of it. And he's starting to finish those campuses. Oh my god, this city, bro. It's already 5 pop going for 6 pop. Oh my god, this city. Oh, more donuts, more, more donuts. Uh, we do need to see um, also Hope coming up with a 49 gold a turn. He did put down a lot of these commercials and is starting to work those uh, traders. Uh, did not actually go for uh, external traders. He's still on internals and we'll see when he's going to start switching. VTC 41 uh, science with 43 culture, 49 uh, gold a turn. Uh, this is the moment that he needs to realize that he needs to build a navy. Otherwise, he is going to get overwhelmed by uh, Tyrem. Uh, Tyrem is already getting... Um, Mercen is coming up in one and Butter is coming up in uh, one. Uh, it looks like he's going to be quite close or very close to getting that um, cartography. Uh, not to mention he has a lot of bows to work with. And I do see he has handled the navigator as the first um, admiral. Well, that's just going to give him like what? an extra boat and that's about it a free melee unit uh this goal is gonna be insane yeah please uh, can we look this liang city at least one two minutes in silence <laughs> yeah bro oh my god this city bro yeah let's see do they know about the city do they oh they don't know about the city they don't know anything about the lands of the goal by the way and not even the um, chinese lands over here in iothaya they just don't know about it that's uh, that's a bit of a bummer over here, and of course we're gonna. I don't want to spoil it for them. Yeah, I do also notice uh, finally the gold did manage to settle Novio Dunum on uh, High Long Bay, and he's getting James St. George for the walls over there. Uh, looks like uh, he's not gonna have to worry. Oh, you know, maybe, maybe he's gonna get to word over here. Uh, Dido, Dido is on the eastern coast, and they are opponents. Maybe they will uh, poke at each other here. Yeah, okay, nothing's happening between uh, Aztec and uh, Rome. I do see uh, Japan did manage to get one samurai improved in Shizuoka. It's not going for more. Uh, we do have uh, theater squares coming up from these cities. And uh, from what I notice, uh, Japan does need to get a lot more campuses going for his own sake. Uh, he's going to try to get that uh, science as quick as possible. And, uh, well, you don't only need the science you also need the boats so i'm a bit concerned about the lack of pre-builds i'm certain that we're gonna have a lot of gold available for the uh, titan especially with uh, how much uh, how many projects he's doing he's on a 72 gold a turn he did manage to get mercenaries already so he's improving his boats half cost and of course you can imagine that's gonna be quite uh, important uh, this goal is gonna be insane yeah well, we're going to need to see goal late game and uh, what's going to happen in the next part of the game. I, of course, uh, oh, finally, Aztec uh, looks like he grew a pair and now he's going across the mountains here. He's uh, going to actually go directly in the face of uh, Byzantium, while Byzantium does have a few uh, settlers coming up from Antioch and Constantinople. Big bad bovine. Thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. Uh, looks like we do have uh, Nicaea coming up with a holy site. Uh, Magnus uh, also establishing in that city. He's uh, probably going to try to chop out as much as possible some units. Uh, Edessa did also finish Oracle and uh, he did manage to get a theater square over there. He's probably going to get another one uh, here between uh, Colosseum and of course uh, the theater square. I am not seeing at the moment any Tangmas. Why am I not seeing Tangmas? Hello, Sporot. Hello. Can you build some Tagma, sir? We got him going for sailing. We got him going for guilds. And it doesn't like um, at the moment. He's not thinking about the military at all. I would really hope so. Like the first sign. You like you gotta look at the signs. You know, Aztec settling in the face. That's like a green light, you know? You you gotta look at the signs over here. That's a green light for your tank mass. Let's go! I ho silver away. Waiting for the cuirassiers, but why? Why wait for the cuirassiers? You gotta go when you gotta go, bro. This is like <laughs> okay. I got a, another thing. You know how you need to feel with these tank mass when you wanna go against your opponent like this, when you are in a car for like six hours. And you can't find a red stop. 
you, you know the feeling when you have to go <laughs> this is exactly the same thing you gotta go bro you gotta go you need to feel it over there in your bones <laughs> you know gotta go gotta go gotta go gotta go <laughs> we got Cory over here actually getting a, a city to the north uh, next to a crater lake uh, looks like of course uh, they are trying to hunt down uh, every little scrap of uh, eras where they can get their hands on uh, portos is on uh, 53 out of 53 we do have uh, tiram uh, tiram on uh, seven points away seven, uh, 48 out of 55 he's trying to scout a little bit to the north uh, getting some horses alongside uh, these uh, bindings and i'm pretty sure he's gonna discover that um Oh no, he's not going for bronze. What happened to you, bro? I cannot recognize you. We got Sporod coming up with a 58 out of 58. He did manage to get his Golden Age options, and we do see him going for that GMC, the Grandmaster Chapel. Uh, diplomatic quarter finishing in Adrianople, and we do have him. Um, also finishing up uh, some amphitheaters over here from the northeast. He did chop down his uh, holy set in Nicaea. And of course, uh, I do see him uh, finishing up that temple in five. Probably another chop will do it. Looks like Rome did also manage to get his uh, golden age and got a wall of units towards the northwest. Push back any Chinese units, but not before China actually disrespected him massively and got a builder away from uh, Rome. We do have um, also Montezuma, 7 points out, that's a bit of a bummer, at least La Lutra is also 2 points away, is he gonna manage to get this going, I have no idea, let's see, Merson is coming up in 2, construction in 1, he's already in Monarchy, so he got those points, oh my god, he's not gonna get it, he got the boat, he got James St. George, maybe, maybe, maybe a project, no project coming out, how many turns? Two turns. Okay. Maybe a city state takeover over here. He's gonna be fast on the buttons. And this La Lotra, can you do it? Can you do it? I don't know, man. He, he should have. He should have enough uh, envoys to actually uh, take over a city state here. Uh, maybe that's exactly what we're seeing in the next few uh, moments. We got Cory seven points out. Hope is uh, four points over. He did manage to get his uh, golden age, and uh, we do need to see. Him uh, getting more uh, population throughout his cities. He's uh, trying to also get um, Jebel Barkal over here in the city of Beijing for some extra, you know, faith per turn. Not bad. Not to mention the wonder and the extra adjacency that he's going to get towards the uh, theater square. And we do have him on 48 science with 78 culture. Very good result coming up uh, next to Rome's uh, 51 and 47. We got VTC also on last but not least on 51 points out of 52. Just needs one more point to get this and I'm certain that he's going to get this. I'm extremely curious who is going to open up the annals. Is it going to be Gaul? Is it going to be Byzantium? Is it going to be Maya? Like who's going to open up those um, annals? There are quite a few possibilities that could happen over here. And uh, of course, uh, from what I can see, first, you know, the priority comes out to actually get a golden age after that whatever happens happens looks like Cory also did manage to get 53 out of 52 so they all got their golden age well except vtc vtc come on bro you can do it i'm pretty sure you can do it come on vtc hello he's trying to get harper shipping projects that's not gonna work oh they did open them up okay they did open them up who did it it was byzantium over here look at that and then phonicia just took all of them <laughs> oh man the timing of this was perfect he got all of them <laughs> how many times do we see this happening bro oh man he got himerios he got rajendra he got lee ferrickson he got zeng he and each oh my god each and every one of them bro and Japan is left holding 87 points, but he needs 305. <laughs> oh man, I don't see this this often, bro. <laughs> that took four animals. Yeah, exactly. Amazing, right? Amazing. He took them all. 
And now it's the time that he needs to discover cartography. Two, uh, two turns uh, coming around here. He's going to have an advantage against Japan. Uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to need to see Japan get a lot more boats. I think he just realized what's happening. And of course, Japan is trying to get those uh, galleys in the water. Uh, he's also uh, trying to use his science to get as soon as possible to cartography. He does have 69 cents with 65 uh, culture. I'm certain that uh, without uh, frigates, it's going to be quite hard for um, Dido to actually push through this one time choke to the north i'm not sure if astic is gonna try to get a few catapults there to the north but you know we'll see we'll see I love how uh, now uh, Japan is queuing up uh, galleys in all of his cities. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he he's going to need every every galley he has. Every man on deck tonight. Let's see how uh, that actually develops. Uh, give me a second. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, uh, coming up uh, over here on uh, Maya, we do need to see him uh, also finishing up more observatories. He did manage to get those two, four, six cities, and uh, he did get his uh, next golden age. Actually, everybody did get his uh, next golden age. Uh, we do have one more turn until the World Congress, and uh, let's actually take a look from the left to the right. Uh, Penbrush and voice golden age on Lake D6 Sky. We got free inquiry this time on Tyrem. Uh, he's uh, 76 science a turn. A bit of uh, problematic but oh well uh, Sporot is also going to be monumentality golden age his second monumentality with uh, a hard 31 faith a turn no economy to speak of we got uh, the d click coming up uh, with a pen brush and voice uh, golden age and one major problem over here uh, uh, no it's not that major they do have uh, 700 gold between them uh, lisa lotra pen brush and voice golden age on a uh, gallic empire cory on uh, pen brush and voice we got hope pen brush and voice and vtc free inquiry golden age this time uh, with uh, actually a serious um, amount of science coming up for him uh, 118 versus 76 of uh, Tyrem he does have uh, stronger harbors to work with and uh, even if he didn't get um, I would say uh, uh, commercials over here he's having such a strong science output i think one of the advantages is of course actually benefiting from a lot of uh, good campuses while we don't have Dido having good campuses. Uh, let's go for uh, wh where am I? Am I first or second here? I'm first. Okay, so I go a uh, gold. Let's go for a recon and let's go for uh, uh. Bon monsieur. I go a uh, gold recon uh, me. Again, I'm getting message by some, uh, wait, s whatever, Snapchat telling me that, oh, the magic Caesar trick. Did you actually see the magic Caesar trick? I think, I think, I think I, you're going to like the magic Caesar trick. No, I'm not. Why are you pushing this to me? Delete, delete with a vengeance. Man, this, I gotta say, this is troubling. This uh, Snapchat over here is giving me only problems, man. Only problems. Uh, we need to look at that gold city again. Yes, said it. W, good evening, sir. One turning a commercial. What? Oh, is this? What's the production? 40 production city. Doesn't even have... Oh, no, he does. He does actually have an opidum. A plus 10 opidum to the south. Oh, my God. Really, bro? Eight pop city still. Eight pop city. Any chance Dido goes uh, straight for frigates and one of his allies supplies the nighter? That's actually a good point. Portos uh, might actually super, uh, supervise this, uh, supplying him the nighter. I think uh, he should have enough science. Yeah, there we go. He actually has the nighter. Uh, we do need to see if uh, that's actually going to be the chance. Uh, we're Actually, next turn we're going to figure out uh, what kind of technology we got them going for but i think uh, you are on to something he did pre-build quite a few quadrims here and this is uh, gonna allow him to get uh, them going 
Hello there, bonsoir Dreddle. How are you doing, sir? Good evening. Oh, we do need to take a look at the World Congress session. We got production 100% until the next World Congress. Uh, looks like uh, light calves uh, are going to be uh, benefiting from plus 5. Horses? I guess it's going to be much harder for um, Rome to push through Aztec. But that's about it, because, you know, Aztec actually has horses while uh, we got the Roman uh, legions. And then Ambiorix did get the two Diplo points. Interesting choices. We got quite a few boats coming off from the Japanese Empire. He's trying to build up a fleet as soon as possible. He is uh, going to need to actually get cartography also. Masonry coming up in one with the medieval fairs uh, coming up also in one. We also need to see uh, how fast he's actually going to manage to get mercenaries. Oh, he did get mercenaries. Never mind. He probably got mercenaries already. Uh, we do have him um, also uh, putting a few defensive units to the southeast to help out Aztec or to possibly defend against Rome. Rome did get a second city over here next to Kume some time ago and uh, we do see that he stopped uh, doing anything including expanding which is a bit of a bummer. He still has uh, quite a few cities to go for, one south of Ravenna, one south of Rome. Uh, you do see he would benefit quite a bit from uh, getting at least uh, two or three more settlers out. Uh, this uh, will probably prove as a mistake the longer the game goes on that he did not actually get these cities. Uh, yes, he's gonna get a uh, few more stats coming up from his um, uh, good campuses next to the mountains, but at some point his opponents with more cities, with more districts um, and so on will overwhelm him. Uh, right now, for example, Hob next to him, Chi uh, China does have uh, 62 science with 93 culture. Uh, we do also need to take a look at Maya with the most science in the game. He is uh, starting to get his foreign ministry going. He does have another city that's going to settle on the east towards Granada. Um, and uh, by the looks of it, he's uh, not been maxing this. Actually, I don't think he can get another city, right? This is it. And this is it. In the six tiles away, this is it. Yeah, in the six tiles away, this is it. I'm a bit curious why he didn't settle the cattle. I guess he just wants to um, benefit from that f um, fertility, right? Extra food. Oh, well. I think he would have anyway, right? Didn't he? Yeah, he would have anyway. He just needed to settle on it. Whatever. It is what it is. We got the mausoleum of Halicarnassus coming up over here on in the goal in the Gallic city Novio Durum. Uh, looks like he didn't improve uh, most of his land next to his city centers and uh, he's not at war with anybody. Imhotep did also get recruited in uh, Tervana while he is going to need to build something over here, maybe a wonder with it. We're going to need to see what uh, that's going to be looking like. Um, also talking about uh, Daito's chances to go for this in the tech side, he is actually uh, five times away from getting square rigging while he is putting his boat, um, boats against Japan from an early stage. He does have uh, the animals, uh, damage, extra damage, and of course with Rajendra Kola he's going to get an extra plus three on all of his boats. Uh, quite a possibility for him to push through the defenses of uh, Japan, but you got to remember Japan does also benefit from an extra plus five next to the coast. And he does have Gaius Duilius as a great animal, which will allow him to get a fleet over here, which, uh, which is going to be quite strong, especially if that is going to be a um, caravel fleet. Uh, we do also see uh, quite a few quadrims uh, coming up next to the city of Z's. Uh, these quadrims are going to turn into frigates and they're going to help him out breach the defenses of his opponents there. We do have uh, some more settlers coming out from Caguana, from Sbrnt, uh, and uh, his ordinance chamber is going to finish over here in Tyre. Or did he get it? Was this damaged or something? Pillaged? I think so, right? It was pillaged. Okay, maybe that was something, something over here like a phenomenon. Phenomena. We don't need to see also what the Byzantium is going to do. We were waiting for those Tagmas, especially when um, Aztec started settling on the east side. Wait a second. Wait, did he actually move? He settled Malinanco. He did not settle over here. Interesting. Uh, when Aztec started settling on the east side, of, uh, there could have been a possibility, an opening for uh, those Tagmas. We don't need to see if uh, Sport over here is going to do anything with uh, those units. He didn't just go crazy with his hippodromes, and some might say, what are you doing? Some others would say, oh, big brain, a very big brain. 
We do need to see uh, exactly which one of those uh, is going to be revealed tonight. We got um, still a few more cities settled to the north. Uh, he's benefiting from that uh, second monumentality, Golden Age, and I do see him going for Apadana in the city of uh, Constantinople. Uh, using that uh, Colosseum bonuses, he does have uh, happy citizens in most of his cities, plus sixes and plus uh, threes. Not uh, bad, but I can't really say these are amazingly uh, populated cities, uh, especially compared to Rome's, for example. We got a nine and a nine and an eight. Uh, and a five you know like that's a lot of population same can be said about china here a lot of uh, population changsha on 12 cities oh man oh man we got beijing on nine Chengdu on nine that's a lot of population yeah, Aduatuka is also in a 10 pop here samaro briva already 11 pop with uh getting a holy side okay i was thinking right now is that a is there something that could improve this land a little better? Like it's, you know, it's not enough. It's like, can can you get like cinnamon over here on the on the donuts, or what can be done to improve this? Um, I'm pretty sure Lisa Lotra is gonna try to go for something uh, more late game ish. Uh, we're gonna need to see if uh, he's gonna go for tanks. We're gonna see if uh, he's gonna try to go for helicopters, for example, or even try to go for one of the um, wind conditions. Maybe space, you know, space might be a thing over here. He's gonna have a lot of production into his cities, especially from um, those opidums. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't blame him if, uh, if I see him going for space. Bonsoir, I would soon be having you. Como sa va, monsieur? Uh, Clue the second, also good evening, sir. He didn't build a water mill. Oh, that is so bad of him. Naughty, naughty, Lisla Lutra. How can you not build a water mill? Oh, oh. No water mill. Uh, why did Basil not settle the mid river? Which one? Ah, uh, this one? I think he didn't have enough production on it. <coughs> uh, diving training is uh, progressing very well. Oh, you got better and now you're going for it. Yeah. Very nice, very nice pictures, bro. We're waiting for the pictures, Rayochun. Fishy, we need to see the fishy. Did he build a granary? He did not actually build even a monument in this city. This city is devoid of any, anything. And we do have him on 47 production and you do see that he doesn't have anything in the um, city center. That's actually quite a problem. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, there was a stone snore no, at Dido's doorstep. Wait, really? A snowstorm here? Wow. In the plains? Wow. Well, I guess he's very, very close to um, a Tundra, so I guess that's why. We do have a Phoenicia managing to breach through the one tail choke. Uh, we're gonna need to see if uh, the shift enter of um, Phoenicia is gonna be true. Of course, you do see that at the moment the cannibals are not actually managing to uh, take out that Japanese cannibal, but they can do significant damage to the other ones. Uh, we do have uh, Lee Felix on uh, getting the extra bonus uh, damage to the Phoenician uh, uh, Caravals and Bindings. And uh, slowly but surely they're getting in there. Now, VDC would need to also shift under his boats. He's not setting the waypoints. And unfortunately, oh, there we go. We got Tynem getting the points here, getting the movements. Uh, he's trying to get in there. And uh, he definitely needs to get more boats uh, on the front line. He's getting... Uh, as many as possible here. Let, let him go, bro. Let him go. Let's go. Uh, I also want to point out that Japan is unfortunately going to be forced to uh, fight in um, deep water as well as in uh, shallow water. The deep water uh, boats are not going to benefit from the extra plus five that Japan benefits in the shallow water. And uh, that is going to be a, a bit of a weakness over here. And you can see he has, uh, unfortunately, he has a tile to the north. He should have kept this style, man. He should have kept this style. This would have been a nice extra plus five here. That is not going to work. 
and of course uh, Japan does benefit from a cannibal fleet which uh, can hold its own and even uh, counterattack into the Phoenician boats but it's only one that's the major problem uh, we will have uh, upcoming um, the frigates coming up from the lands of Zs. you can see how fast they're gonna get there it's gonna be around the six third and the, in the seventh third they're gonna start to shoot down the Japanese uh, cannibals it's about that time that Japan needs to think what he's going to do about this. Uh, we got also finally Tagmas coming out from Antioch. I do see Mahabodhi Temple coming out from Adrianople. And looking at this uh, ambiotics, let's actually take a look at the score screen here. We got 4 out of 20 Diplo points for the Gallic Empire. Ambionics is uh, is gonna get that going. He's gonna try to get that going. But unfortunately for him, looks like... Uh, oh, he could build it he could build it he's just uh, needing that temple and of course going for Mahabori temple from Samaro Briva uh, that's going to be a 49 production city versus uh, what's Adrianople Adrianople is nowhere near that it's 13 and he, there's no magnets in here to uh, chop it out but I'm pretty sure uh, still Sporod might try to chop that out We don't need to see also how uh, Maya is going to try to counteract uh, the opponent's um, moves. We do have him going for that foreign ministry. And I do see uh, we do have him uh, going for a holy set as well from Copan. Uh, getting his chancery up for uh, more influence points. And that's about it. Actually, look at the damage Japanese cannibal. He needs to put the plus seven. Okay, that's better. Oh, that's not that wise, bro. Uh, yeah, there we go. Mahabori Temple got uh, placed down. Three turns! Three turns for Mahabori Temple in Samaro Briva. Man, this city, bro. They should, you know what? They should really buy him right now a, a um, water mill. These are so many tiles that will get a, pro a production from it. Can you imagine 12 plus production from a water mill? Good evening, smile. Good evening, M. Voltaire. How are you doing, ma'am? How was your day? How was this uh, Monday? We do have Phoenicia with uh, only a few more caravels. And the, the, the reason I was saying that this is not that um, um, uh, with, uh, wise over here, I was saying because uh, he doesn't want to start trading units next to the Japanese coast. He wants to uh, keep them as much as possible alive until those uh, frigates come to play. And uh, you do see he's uh, moving his frigates uh, now. They're on the way over there. It's not going to be that um, that fast. We do have some more of them uh, being upgraded. I'm pretty sure Fornisha is going to need to uh, hard build a few caravels as well to keep up with the necessary uh, damage points against his opponent here. Uh, he does need to also somehow figure out a way for him to... Um, uh, keep up uh, with the experience that he needs because once this uh, careful fleet did manage to get the plus seven emblem promotion that's gonna be quite tough that's gonna be quite tough uh, we do have uh, in the south over here coming up uh, from aztec quite a few crossbows uh, in the middle and it looks like he is um, gonna help himself out with um, some more courses on the defense uh, we do need to see if um, Aztec is also gonna manage to do something on the e right side where uh, he could have actually put a few units uh, directly against Byzantium Beha Byzantium doesn't actually have any units to work with more attacks coming up here for uh, okay there we go he, he did manage to get out of there and i do see him uh, trying to attack into one of the caravels of uh, phonisha well he did lose a caravel there unfortunately japan was just not ready for that kind of attack now uh, we do also need to see okay oligarchy activated here for um, for Phoenicia some time ago shallow water bonus points can he get this going i think he he needs yeah he needs to uh, put a wall up uh this is a go-to strategy by the way whenever you're gonna have a fleet fighting another fleet and it, this actually goes uh, to show all on units you're gonna see the players try to get the line and the only way you can actually get the line because you can't get it from the north to the south it's actually on the diagonal it's always gonna be northwest to uh, southeast or um 
northeast to southwest uh, so you do see at the moment there are two lines that can develop over here are from the northwest to the southeast um, while japanese boats are exactly where they need to be so does uh, Phoenicia need to put that uh, boat uh, to the north he's just trying to bait out uh, japanese uh, boat to actually get there to move into that uh, tile uh, hype for the announcement tomorrow yeah we're gonna need to see what uh, they're gonna put out everybody's thinking about this and we're uh, we're waiting we're waiting it's uh, gonna be quite something i don't know uh, is it gonna be quite something or is it not mm, i don't know of, of course on the multiplayer community on this side of multiplayer community uh, we kind of sit with our hearts a little bit uh, smaller uh, because uh, any content uh, that can be put into the game can also bring bugs and we're depending so much on uh, on mods which you know need to interact very well with uh, the upgrades they do uh, so it's uh, we're we're thinking about okay how fast can we actually get back you know on track we have quite a few competitions going on at the cwc and so on it's quite important to have everything uh, stable but oh well i mean we're, it's not like we actually have uh, any kind of relationship uh, that good of a relationship with uh, um, i would say uh, with um, fire access so it is what it is we're trying we're trying we sent them emails we didn't hear anything back we sent them some more we didn't hear anything back and we're like hello you know i'm trying <laughs> anyway uh, coming back on this we do need to see also um, uh, if we're gonna have that uh, tagma coming out from antioch uh, i do really hope we're gonna have some kind of a form of attack over here from uh, uh, byzantium he needs to move something i know he doesn't have uh, that big of an economy he's only on one gold a turn 52 science with 131 culture but it's not like he can actually put um uh, how to say um one of these um victory conditions uh, to come online from byzantium he needs to do something that would affect the game uh, considerably so uh, one of the mo um, most used tactics uh, to affect the game from byzantium is of course to use his uh, tank mass uh, there is a city from uh, aztec that he could uh, be forced uh, well he could force uh, aztec to defend uh, could take valet and then keep on going towards uh, teotihuacan on the left side we do need to also take a look over here on uh, china he does um, have quite a few theater squares coming out started to build his great wall for the defense on the east side uh, which uh, of course is going to give him actually some extra gold some extra production we're also going to see him um, and try to get some uh, culture going over there and uh, by the looks of it uh, he keeps on building it uh, next to the mountains not bad the major thing that's happening here is of course the war on the seas uh, phoenicia in the north is uh, bouncing against these uh, uh, units of japan you can see japan did get his own frigates and he's gonna shoot back against the phoenician caravels we don't need to see how fast uh, these are gonna go here and uh, if uh, phoenicia is gonna breach the defenses now we do have on one side phoenicia benefiting from uh, animals japan still has a long way to go 140 points to go for for uh, an animal over here it's going to be quite uh, tough for him to go for a one-sided relationship <laughs> i wouldn't call it uh, come on bro it's not that one we're, we're trying we're trying uh, nanny hello there sir now i gotta say of course uh, for example for the um, um civ give event it's gonna be quite a surprise what uh, we're gonna get over there it's moisos with the big brains and of course the relationship so we, we don't know a lot of the details and you know that's normal we're gonna need to uh, take a look closer when we get to the event what's gonna happen but uh, you know that's one one hand extended from uh, Phyrexis that they, they definitely are willing to uh, uh, try to um, uh, improve as much as possible everything and uh, i want to say uh, they do care about everything that's happening and i you've seen last year 2k even went on uh, and um or they did so many donations on their side so i, I think it's gonna be good i think it's gonna be good. Uh, we do have on the west side coming up over here uh, with uh, the goals uh, did manage to get that mahabodhi temple look at that it's pointy oh look at that in summer of riva yeah, it's very pointy <laughs> we do have him um, getting that extra production from all of those tiles 54 at the moment with 14 population that's i think the biggest city in the game uh no it's actually changsha coming up with 14 as well oh, man it's next turn next turn is gonna be the biggest city in the game 15 population soon changsha has three more turns to grow to 15 
We do need to see also if uh, Rome is going to manage to do something over here. He did need to defend a little bit from Aztec. I see Aztec did poke a little bit to the south and went back, then poked back, then went back and so on and so forth. And it does look like Rome at the moment stopped building military units. He got a little bit, you know, he got scared, I gotta say. When he saw Hob angrily moving his uh, horses from the west through the mountains over there towards Ravenna, he was like, no, you know what, Aztec? Just stay in your corner over there. I'm gonna stay in mine. And you, China, don't move. Don't move, bro. <laughs> stay back. <laughs> I'm gonna put units in your choke points, if not. We do have a few men at times also starting to come online here from uh, Rome. And, uh, of course, he did bunker down. You can see him uh, setting, uh, setting a lot of uh, units. Still very surprised we don't see him uh, setting uh, more cities to the south and southeast. A very easy city to go for uh, to the southeast between the mountains with a very good uh, campus and so on. I'm quite surprised we don't see this going. Uh, we did have another religion, Buddhism, Zen meditation, crusade, stewardship, and stupa coming up from the goal. And we do see uh, Phoenicia's uh, frigates did manage to get to the front line and they are slowly, slowly bridging through the defenses of uh, Japan. I gotta say, uh, this is gonna be quite a problem because, uh, first of all, Phoenicia doesn't have that big of a supply line. Second of all, these Phoenician caravels are not getting their promotion through and they are getting also smashed. And of course, Japan is start, uh, has a much faster supply line and is building new boats. While uh, you can see over here, we don't actually have have Phoenicia building new boats. We've seen what this actually turns uh, translates into and we've seen it multiple times. I would believe at some point Phoenicia is gonna run out of boats. This is gonna be a problem. We do need to see if um, that moment is going to come sooner rather than later. And of course, it all depends on what's going on here. How are they going to try to uh, play and plan out these uh, moves against each other? Um, Barak Bluff, bonsoir monsieur. Hello there, hello there. How are you doing, sir? Uh, apparently the goal doing uh, going for diplo yes uh, goal is going for diplo danny dio thank you so much for the follow sir and welcome we got Apadana coming up from Adua Tuka, and uh, from what I can see, Gold is uh, generating a decent amount of great engineers, 11 points a turn. It's uh, probably gonna get Isodor of Miletus. I don't see a project. Oh, I see. Oh, that's actually Holy Side project. Never mind. My heart just jumped and skipped a bit there. I do not see a project here, though. No projectus. No projectus maximus coming up from uh, Gold. Is, uh, well, it is what it is. Uh, we do have a uh, goal also um, attaining that uh, 6 out of 20 with the two extra points coming up from um, Mahabori Temple. Probably we'll get some from the next World Congress. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do have an advantage here. 109, 67, 101, 69. They do have an advantage when it comes to the Diplo favor. So they need to uh, keep on going for that. Uh, they also will probably need um, as much as possible to get the Statue of Liberty and Potala Palace. Both of those are going to give um, Diplo points. And I'm pretty sure uh, Lisla Lutra is going to try to get that. And yeah, that's another boat gone the drain. We don't have any more caravels. One, two, th that's it. One, two caravels because this one, I can't really count this one as a caravel, honestly. It's uh, seven points. <gasps> another one. Move it, move it. No, it died. A horrible, horrible death. No. Cinepa possible. Oh no. Anyway, Fornisha over here is uh, going to need to uh, make his way towards the front line with more units. He's trying to use as much as possible his uh, land units to give a support bonus towards his um, other units. And this is the major problem, right? No resupply line. And this is where Fornisha effed up. This is where he did. There's no resupply line between his cities and his opponent's cities. No resupply line. Mm, but why? We got it. Did get settled to the south. We got Phoenicia building Petra. Oh my God! How many turns did he actually use to build Petra here? This city probably never got anything else other than this Petra. Is this a three-hill Petra? 
which he didn't even buy yet. Oh my God, really? So Petra does give you that extra food, does give you an extra point of production and two points of gold for each of the tiles with desert, which means you can actually have decent heals. But you don't really want to work the, the plain, you know, like the plain desert because it's nothing there. Like, sure, you're going to get some food, but no production. You can't improve it. You can't put anything on it. You're just, like, there's no, not even a farm. You can't even farm it. It's like so... Mm. But anyway, it's still going to be some extra era score points. Um, Tynem over here is uh, going to try to get another city to the south. Uh, and of course, he just wants to expand, expand, ex exterminate his opponent. Now he realizes, oh, I'm missing cannibals. What should I do now? And he puts one in the city of Tyre in production. We don't need to see if KTY and Ziz are also going to be... Um, order to do so i think uh, he definitely would need to prioritize the uh, caravels over everything else uh, he only has one so even if he does manage to breach through the defenses of japan you do see that japan still benefits from uh, three caravels one of them a fleet which he needs to by the way put in the main city so he can actually get some uh, extra um, heals going uh, and at the same time i i gotta say you know Fornisha benefits from a lot of uh, frigates so i wouldn't i'm not that worried about him getting counterattacked. It's more about him not managing to breach fully through the Japanese defenses. 100% production on both me makes it hard to produce both. I know, Farchet, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I mean, he's, both of them are gonna have 100%, and it's just how it is. You know, yeah, you're, you're gonna spend more. What you gonna do about it, you know? Uh, does he have, and this is one, uh, oh yeah, he does have Merchant Republic, so he does benefit from the Press Gangs card, that's gonna give him a 100% uh, uh, discount. We got uh, Portos coming up with Civil Engineering, Astronomy, looks like Pembrush and Voice, uh, also 148 Science and 110 Culture. Did manage to settle all of those cities that he, need to, uh, he needs to, of course, next to his capital, uh, putting down more observatories and trying to get going. I am actually curious, did he manage to get... No, he did not. It was Isaac Newton being recruited here by the Gauls. Again, Liz Lalotra is uh, snatching this away from his opponents, uh, building up his universities now and working on the Statue of Liberty from the Novia Dunum. Novia Dunum, I should say. Um, from what I can see, he does have a wrong engineer, actually, on the seas. He does have a good one here, Isodor of Miletus. He did manage to recruit him, uh, and um, fortunately for him, he does have Reina inside of it. Um, I'm curious if we're gonna see uh, maybe some Phoenician boat. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Like, that's gonna be so late. Maybe Onisha can could have punished this, but he got focused on Japan so badly he totally forgot about that other side. Wow. Well, we do have Rome actually starting to stagnate in the science and in the culture. He hasn't been settling his cities uh, for some time now, trying to go for a um, timing attack when it comes to the um, knights, but I think he kind of lost that horse uh, with uh, that timing. I mean, we do have Cory on 82 science and 102 culture uh, to the north of him, and yes, he doesn't have an economy to speak of, but he does have 186 um, production not to mention he did use his time to settle more cities here on two four six eight cities uh, definitely with um, a lot more potential than we've seen on uh, rome we don't need to see how cory is going to try to use that potential what kind of districts is he going to build and how is he going to try to defend against the um, night push coming up from rome we do have uh, also uh, one tangma this is one tangma to rule them all Really? Come on, get more, get more, get big. Okay, there we go, another one here. He's, uh, he didn't get GMC, right? So he's gonna start buying them with faith. Uh, Sporod here does have 176 uh, faith at 10, so he could definitely buy quite a few of them, even, you know, and try to get some heavy chariots going. And we do have uh, Phoenicia actually getting uh, closer to the cities of Japan. Looks like he does have that one caravel next to uh, Tokyo. This is dangerous. That one caravel is probably going to be doomed immediately. Now, VTC is reacting to this and he's going to take out the caravel. The thing is, you cannot take cities with the frigates. So immediately when um, the city of Tokyo was under... Um, 
was in danger immediately japan realized that was there was a unit over there that was um actually the one putting the city of uh, tokyo in danger and he just took out surgically strike that one unit and that's it you know taking it out we do have uh, japan also uh, benefiting from uh, more carvers coming up from the west side he did keep on building these and of course i uh, kept on building quad dreams uh, so now oh my god now our dreams the future of the phoenician empire is doomed is doomed we have more strength on his boats but he just doesn't have the numbers oh man this is so weird i i gotta say this, even like with what happened over here we gotta give it to japan he did amazingly well amazingly well we do have him with a lot more quadrims coming out he's gonna start to upgrade them into uh, frigates phonisha is uh, running right now away from uh, japan you can see he's uh, also um, uh, trying to kite a little bit uh, his opponent and we do have him uh, attacking into another frigate they take one down of course uh, japan over here it might actually counter with this uh, with uh, more care does he have no he doesn't have uh, enough movement these are one tile too far away okay so calculated to the box Cannibals coming off from these, uh, chopping, improving, chopping, improving, tire, getting more cannibals. These are just way too late, sir. And this is way too late. Um, okay, so just to remind everybody, we did have uh, the first game actually won by um, looking for D Shark and uh, Phantomas. This is the last chance for Phantomas to actually come back into the series. This is a best of three series. Uh, Phantomas does need to equal this game, win this game, and then uh, go for the third one and maybe win that one. If not, we will see uh, looking for D Shark in the Division 2 of the Super Far Squadrons, and uh, we're gonna need to uh, take a look how they're gonna do about against uh, the next uh, tier boys. And guns, of course. We do have uh, Rome coming up with uh, quite a few heavy chariots. Uh, I do see him uh, managing to get just them. Like he's not. Where is he putting them? On the west side. Is he gonna want to push? Like that's not gonna happen. Even pushing into these uh, horses is not gonna happen. With uh, even knights, like even knights pushing into these horses, that's not gonna happen. Uh, maybe he's gonna try to uh, just pre build them in the uh, hopes that whenever he's gonna get attacked, he's just gonna have what to build with and it's gonna be fine. Uh, we do need to also quickly take a peek over here what's going on seven turns until the next world congress session uh, in the uh, score screen we do have a decent advantage coming up for uh, lfd when it comes to um, uh, the diplo favor 156 113 149 103 while on the other side on phantomas we got 142 101 102 126 well yes they're not gonna get all of the points but they will uh, have a serious chance of uh, getting the last remaining uh, choice over there and of course the last remaining choice we can bring them uh, three diplomatic victory points which uh, does matter quite a bit we do have uh, the goals going for uh, statue of liberty from novio donum he still benefits from isodor's uh, two charges um, didn't actually activate them at all at the moment gold is too overpowered wait but they let gold in did Japan even get golden? Uh, yes, I think everybody did get a golden last time. Uh, golden, 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 golden. Yeah, everybody did get a golden. Uh, we do need to see how uh, Phoenicia is going to get out of here. Of course, uh, Japan is still pressuring him with uh, cannibals and uh, frigates, trying to take out as many boats as possible on the retreat end. And, uh, and from what I can see in Zs, there's a new fleet uh, getting uh, built here, but it's going to take a bit too uh, too long. We do have him getting Terracotta army from KTY. It would have been nice when he actually had a fleet, you know, an extra, um, extra point over there would have mattered quite a bit. Wait, what is this? Is this statue? Oh, no, Colossus. Okay, never mind. Petra did get finished in LPQI. He did actually get uh, one of these um, desert hills. And you can see the, what I'm talking about. Like the desert over here is just not, oh my god, not good at all. He just needs to get more tiles. He needs to put the gold uh, in the eel stamp. Actually, let's take a look at the gold. Uh, we got 27, 134, 3, and a 35. 
coming up for them. It, they did go quite gold heavy in the civilizations and since uh, Rome didn't actually get a good spawn or I should say didn't actually get a lot of cities to place a lot of uh, commercials and get that good spawn with the trade routes and so on, uh, well, he's uh, not actually making that big of an economy. We do have uh, Portos also with 220 production on the east side. The biggest question we have for Portos is what's the end game? Like, I get it. A lot of science, a lot of culture. What's the end game? Is he gonna go for tanks? Is he gonna go for heli, 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 helicopters? Is he gonna go for the nuki nukes? My, oh, I mean, I wanna see the nukes. Don't you wanna see the nukes? I wanna see the nukes. Or is he gonna go for something else? I don't know, culture victory, overwhelming his opponents with scouts, taking city states, killing them all. I don't know, there are a few other possibilities, maybe space can try to go to space um that's one of the questions that portos will need to uh, answer for us at some point of course we're gonna see it in the development of his empire what kind of uh, road he's gonna take in the next part of the game uh, on the right side on the other side it's clear what's happening it's culture vic uh, it's a diplo victory right we're gonna we're gonna have uh, lisa lotter try to get uh, that um uh, diplo victory while he's building uh, with Statue of Liberty, he's getting also more production from his cities. On so nine turns away from the recorder on uh, Potala Palace, seven turns to get Statue of Liberty. Uh, he just used one of the charges of uh, Isador. Uh, and from what I can see, he's now on six out of 20. He's gonna be nine out of 20, 10 out of 20. And he would need two full straight up congresses to actually get a win. There's still a point from Nobel, from uh, that scientist, which is gonna appear actually quite soon. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't see it yet. I don't, I don't think anybody actually picked it. No, 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 no. It's uh, Ip Khan Dun is actually uh, China's, and we're probably gonna see that in the next year. Uh, and um, that's another point. And yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I don't think he's gonna go. Or I, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if he's gonna try to go for something else. What I also do notice, we do have uh, two players uh, over 300 production coming up from um, looking for D-Shark. It's gonna be Lisla, Lotra and Hob, uh, 370 and uh, 325 production. Immediately after China did see uh, some units coming against him, he did plug the choke with the uh, Corsair. Uh, he did upgrade those uh, horses and immediately and of course uh, got the stronger units to defend against this a possible attack from the legions. Uh, these legions are not going to go through the Corsair line. Not even the men at arms is going to touch that Corsair. That's way too hard to handle, like a potato, you know. Tss, 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 tss. Uh, sounds like um, a science of victory is not very relevant in uh, BBG. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, Gold had three charges. Did he build mausoleum? Uh, no. Or did he have anything else? Uh, Veggie Cakes, also good evening, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, well, it's a very long-term victory. If uh, it's here, if uh, none of the others work for both teams, yeah, basically, it's. Uh, I gotta, I gotta say, I uh, do agree with that. It's a very long-term victory condition on the science victory. Um, and I've seen some races going on between uh, science and culture, but you don't see it that often. Often, often, the turn, turn. Give me a second, just. Uh Oh, we got another game tomorrow. Project Conquerors going against the Les Animo. Hello, hello. I need to update the, um, the schedule. Yay, yay, yay. Sorry, Discord things. Discord things. Um, Chris John. Chris uh, Johan. So when I pass away at the end of the turn, he will take my crossbow and hold this river in defense of Rome like I did and my father did before me and his before then and we have done a millennia. Yes. Yes. Until that one that breaks the pattern. You need to hold the river over here. Yes, exactly. And they learn every angle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Counter Strike, you know, you learn the angle and just, just wait over there and <laughs> <laughs> pop heads, bro, pop heads. 
Ashley HS, hello there and uh, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Yeah, uh, and you return stronger than ever after your journey. Yeah, it's like in Prey. You know, have you guys seen Prey, the new movie coming out from uh, the Predator series? Yeah, it's like it's like in Prey. It's that one that you know breaks the pattern and makes everything uh, better. <laughs> I can't really say Aztec has, uh, first of all, a lot of damage. He only has a plus four luxury attack bonus. And from what I can see, he doesn't have a lot of units. He's trying to go for a stronger economy. And, you know, that's good. He's only on 29. He did manage to get uh, 126 science and 115 culture. Those extra cities definitely helped him out a bunch. Now that Phoenicia cannot push through uh, the Japanese cities anymore, he's um, falling back on the city of Ziz, where he's trying to get a new uh, navy out. Quite a few new cannibals are coming out and oh my god that's a big storm what is it called what's the name crippling blizzard i'm pretty sure that's not the name what is the name of this storm um gizgo gizgo oh we got gizgo to the north of KTY, LPQI over here coming up with some more cannibals. It where will it disrupt everything? We're gonna take a look over here. Where is he going? Heading southeast. In LPQI. How does this work? How how does a storm, like a snowstorm, go into the desert and make everything frozen? I know it's you know cold in the desert at night, but I'm pretty sure it's not during the day. Hmm. Hmm. Should have picked Russia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we do have the goals getting uh, revealed. He did get his uh, scout over here, the galley revealed the next to the cities of uh, Dido. Now, uh, of course, they are aware Ga and Goal has uh, some cities on the other side. This was not something that uh, they planned on. And oh, yeah, you're right. Actually, he did get Mausoleum of Aldikarna. So maybe there were three charges over there. I I'm so sorry. I, for some reason, I have not seen this. Well. Wow, who was it? Who was it? Also, came from the north, uh, came out uh, producing uh, Byzantium and Rome combined. Yeah, he's doing it. Also, good evening, sir. Uh, Clue the second, it uh, sometimes snows in the desert, makes for some uh, key, funky sand snow layers. I can only imagine, uh, how to say, the dirt coming out of that, actually. Wow. B uh, better now is it better now i don't know i want to see this by the way i just want to see the smashing of this crippling blizzard ah it wasn't that southeast okay it's fine it actually improved the tile over here it's fine it's fine just took out um, the fish and the crabs it's all good it's all good we got terracotta army coming up uh, next turn looks like uh, more of these uh, phoenician boats are uh, coming online uh, also japan did uh, repair his navy he has uh, four of these five six of these cannibals with a decent line of uh, frigates and not to mention the choke point is going to be uh, very very hard to go through i think they just don't care about pushing uh, dairo that much they just want to sit, sit on the defense and uh, make the most out of this uh, vtcd does have uh, 240 production with 158 science and 72 culture of both of them are in free inquiry golden age and it looks like vtc has the upper hand here with a much stronger campuses next to the mountains he's gonna get more of them actually this one is gonna be a plus five um over here and he's uh, flexing look at him look at his muscles oh the muscles are so big right now we got the units lost count zero setra's lost count zero Li Ang defensive yay <laughs> naval superior <laughs> look at him flexing right here oh my god bro <laughs> Hey, Canard Sif, good evening, sir. Just arrived. How come is uh, Rome so low in stats? Well, he kind of wanted to go against Aztec. And then he kind of got denied taking any of Aztec's uh, cities and units and uh, tiles. And then he kind of made a line of units. And he kind of never settled more cities. You know, there was a, a mix of things. <laughs> 
also uh, VAT uh, 53i hello there sir he is indeed very very confident he's very confident <laughs> <laughs> getting electronics factories man these guys are building subarus and mazdas and then on the other side we got dido getting matisse you know <laughs> this just doesn't, it doesn't match it doesn't match we do have a uh, goal over here coming up with uh, builders i do see him getting coal power plants uh, also coming up uh, over here and uh, it does look like someone obriva city did get to 18 population 114 uh, production we got uh, also a few more commercials coming up from the goal and uh, we do see him four turns away from getting potala palace i don't see him with another great engineer that could actually spend a builder charge there but he's gonna try to get Minar si Mimar Sinan coming up with an extra amenity and uh, some extra housing for the city he does have um, 23 great engineer points per turn so that's uh, actually gonna be revealed next turn very nice very nice goal finally build a watermill well he did <gasps> or was this a flood he did Comtraya! He did build the water mill. Man. <sighs> yes, now we, we need to spend a little time here to, you know, take in the beauty, the donuts. The donuts over here in Summer Obriva. Ah, smells like production in the morning. <laughs> ah. <laughs> No granary, no granary. When he, does he need a granary? That's so much, how does the population anyway? 15 surplus food. He has a lot of housing coming up from these farms. Like uh, how much extra housing does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, uh, nine, nine, sorry, nine, nine more housing. Nine extra housing coming up from just his farms. Not to mention um, um, Governor Yang, which gives him another three wow what is it wait is it one or two uh audience chamber it's three three okay for a second that i uh i was forgetting the um, bonus uh what does watermill do on bbg plus one production basically on farms Yes, come try ya. I don't know how many of you actually got that <laughs> reference. And if working, good evening, sir. Hello. Let's see how how many know where does come try come from. <laughs> oh, we need to po we need to vote. <laughs> Uh, let's go for uh, uh, let's go for uh, this is a hard one actually let's go for no not you know. maybe uh, writers he yeah, writes me yeah stargate indeed <laughs> the episode when they got copied and they did not know about it <laughs> uh, I gotta go feed my daughter dinner have a good dinner by the way and of course uh, I do hope uh, you enjoyed the show here you enjoyed the show and will enjoy the show afterwards Bon appetit, as they like to say in uh, France.
here. One second, I was going through some things over here. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, this game isn't looking uh, so good for Phantom anymore. Yeah, that one attack uh, going of between them, uh, Daido and of course uh, Japan over here was uh, something that could, they could have based um, their uh, future on. And now it's not happening and it looks like Japan did manage to win that pushing back their opponents. So we got Phoenicia needing to... Um, pivot to the e side and that's exactly what he's doing uh Tyrem is uh, gonna try to go against uh, the goals uh, well even if he takes honestly even if he takes no view donum it's gonna be fine uh, he already built statue of liberty so he doesn't need the extra points anymore and it looks like um ambiorix did manage to get 13 out of 20 diplo points this um uh, congress but they kind of ran out of uh, diplo favor so next uh, congress phantomas uh are probably gonna have an advantage but i say probably because there's always a chance they f they might f up uh, we do have uh, potala palace coming up from dure quarter and uh, that's an extra point and uh, if uh, we will see alfred noble being picked up over here by uh, the goals uh, he is gonna get an extra point uh, from it as well making it a 15 out of 20 possible points if they do manage to um uh, maybe um and get some liberations going to get some extra hundreds and maybe they can get this uh, win uh, we'd also notice uh, rome did manage to get a few of these units to the west side no a few north but nothing actually majorly happening over here we got japan uh, putting some uh, units on the front line again nothing major happening um china did manage to get where is China? China is here. 142 science, 156 culture. Um, and uh, by the looks of it, he's going to have military science coming up next turn. And I think, I think, you know, we're going to have uh, helicopters coming up from China. Actually, uh, that uh, sounds... Um, like the best unit that he could use uh, to attack into Rome uh, since Rome for some reason refuses to expand his empire um, unfortunately he's not gonna get more science out of this game with 86 kinds per turn with 54 culture uh, it is uh, not gonna actually gonna give get him to uh, unit to defend possible helicopters and you've seen the helicopters what they can do man they can one shot a lot of units they are extremely strong and fast you gotta be very very careful defending against them um oh give me a second by the way i don't wanna i don't wanna take a peek at something okay there we go i wasn't sure if uh, the heat was on so i wanted to stop the other heater um phantomas will get, finally get uh, caught today or he'll find a way to escape the police again yeah yeah we'll see w wasn't there a i think there is a game right with i don't know how it's called but there's a game that actually uh, allows you to uh, hunt ghosts and stuff like that On the land, we don't actually have at the moment Byzantium uh, building that big of an uh, army. I don't see him actually getting anything other than that one tagma that he had and probably try to uh, do some pillaging here on Aztec land. Um, I do see even a desperate uh, Byzantium archer trying to get in there. He's going to meet a crossbow on the battlefield and I'm pretty sure the Aztec uh, crossbow will come out on top of this war. Uh, we do have Abu also scouting from Maya and uh, looking at Maya's series, I don't actually see him uh, trying to prepare his empire for um, a tank push. What I do see him going is um, a lot more culture, and yes, he's going to need a lot more culture. They, uh, I gotta point out, they did go into the next era, and of course, uh, we only have a few of them actually with the dark, Golden Age. One, two, three of them at the count. The Sport is going to have a Golden Age with um, Monumentality. We do have uh, Hope coming up with uh, Reform the Coinage and the Lisla Lutre. Is also going to have a Reform the Coinage. Um, we don't need to see the gold here 80 405 gold a turn from hob oh my god bro 400 production as well 389 we do have vdc on 323 while uh, lisla lutra is a uh, 631 bro 600 production coming up from lisla lutra 
is uh, also going to get a stronger economy coming up with uh, multiple commercials banks are being built and um, uh, I do see China started acquiring some uh, culture uh, per ten, some uh, tourism per ten. we do have uh, who is it Sporot with 3 out of 77 but you can see how uh, Hope is pushing those higher um, and uh, Lisa Lotra not to mention does have uh, 76 internals on uh, 3 out of 78 as well as on his side we don't have a lot of tourism from either side it's just a tiny bit that is acquired as 40, 64 coming up for Lisa Lotra 50 on hope and on the other side we got spotted on a 61 uh, it doesn't look like anybody's actually going uh, headstrong into a culture victory uh, international trade routes chosen for okay the trade with uh, japan are gonna have a minus four uh, gold and from what i can see uh, no points um, uh, earned towards great musicians they want to stop a possible attack coming up on that screen um Pizarro is also telling us, giving us some inside. Oh, this is the inside information, the scoop over here. Okay, I see how it is. This is uh, the dirt. Uh, Lisantas, le plus beau. Le, wait, Lisantas, isn't this uh, Lisantas the most beautiful or something? Is that what it says? Is that how it translates into? Uh, he might escape uh, human uh, justice consequences, uh, but no uh, escapes. It is. Oh, I nailed it! I nailed it! Oh man! Oh uh, yeah, and, but no one escapes uh, karma. Though uh, he will be a lonely old man one day with no friends, because no one likes a villain. Have you seen? Wait, wasn't there a, f a movie from Amazon that actually was on uh, on this one? Or there was something, I believe. But well, anyway. There was a movie with uh, Sylvester Stallone recently. Mm. The Samaritan. Have you seen The Samaritan? It's such... Uh, how to say... It, it, well yeah but you're talking about like you know the villain versus the um, um, hero and so on and so forth like a samaritan is like so much like that with like two brothers one was good one was evil they fought against each other and blah blah, blah until one have actually died and uh, a lot of people thought the samaritan uh, the good one actually won but i don't want to spoil it <laughs> you know i'm gonna stop here i don't want to spoil it it's an interesting movie if you want to take a look at it we do have uh, Maya also developing the city of Chicken. It's uh, quite um, fast. I do see um, he did manage to recruit uh, Filippo Brunelleschi uh, to give him those uh, extra points of production towards um, something over here, towards uh, probably a wonder of some kind. I don't actually know what it is. I would think uh, he would want to go for something like uh, Forbidden City. Uh, that's uh, going to give him an extra policy cut, and that's usually the most valuable one. I'm pretty sure Gold is waiting for that one as well. Uh, we do see him. He doesn't have it yet in his uh, cities uh, even though he does have quite a few of them he did manage to finish that potana palace getting himself um, 14 out of 20 diplo points uh, and uh, we do need to see if uh, he's gonna creep closer to um, uh, the scientist no he's not actually 20 points at 10 next scientist is 535 points none of them are actually making the um, the projects and they're gonna passively go uh, towards uh, that number that magical number we do have byzantium putting a spy in uh, aztec land and we might actually see a few more units coming up from him of course you do see the tangmas uh, can deal a significant amount of damage plus eight combat strength he did manage to uh, take out his opponent's uh, religions every one of his opponents did manage to build a religion and then uh, of course it got um, uh, taken over by byzantium every time he does this he gets an extra plus two uh, damage on all of his units and that's actually uh, puts him at plus eight combat strength he doesn't have a military yet he is starting to build a few more of these uh, encampments which will give him uh, general points and we need to see if uh, he's gonna try to go in the mass encampments here he would need to go for mass encampments if he actually wants to put the massive pressure on his opponent uh, i 
don't believe he actually got crusade right crusade was made was uh, snatched by the goal so that's actually unfortunate for uh, byzantium he could have had an extra plus five on his units whenever he was uh on the offense there but that's not that's not gonna happen uh we do have more shipyards coming up from the cities of uh, phoenicia and uh, from what i can see we do have uh, caravels also coming up from uh, tyre um, the majority of his fleet has uh, moved on the east side and oh god it is dying oh my god samar can you bully oh no is it gonna die we we got quite a few frigates that can actually shoot these units down maybe maybe it's not gonna die you know maybe not, it's not gonna die oh the big bully samarkand i gotta say uh, my neighbors i can't really show you the pictures but my neighbors uh, just went into zanzibar uh, for a vacation and oh my god the wow the beaches over there and the uh, how to say the scenery oh my god that's so cool i'm gonna need at some point to visit zanzibar yeah we got it looks like it's uh oh actually we don't know if it's gonna survive there's an extra knight over here maybe get uh, more frigates no more frigates movement <gasps> Oh my god, if Samar can once, I think he can take Ugarit. I don't know exactly, because, you know, crossbow and uh, knight, he might, he will probably need to sacrifice the knight. Oof. Oof. AI is not that smart. <laughs> yeah, well, AI is our AI, bro. What can I say? Uh, I'm also curious if uh, China is going to start to go on the offense. I do know this. Uh, he started to get his uh, military economies going. And he built quite a few of those encampments. One, two, or uh, three encampments. Uh, he's going to need to finish his military economies for the extra oil per ton he's going to get when he discovers refining. And uh, I do see him benefiting from a lot of production. 464. He actually has uh, more than double the amount of production that Diklik has on his side. Yes, we do have uh, Rome with a Quirassier course, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, there we go, he has a field cannon core over here uh, in the um, encampment of Mediolanum. I, I don't think that's going to be enough to stop the tanks, though, <laughs> stop the tanks from um, China. He's probably going to need the support help of uh, Sporot, and even though I do see Sporot with 300 culture, he only has 95 uh, science to go for and it's down oh god it went down it actually did work bro vat it looks like samarkand's brain just exploded <laughs> he got it bro he got it we got samarkand over here with um I want to say that was getting damaged. It looks like uh, slowly Phoenicia is uh, getting his revenge going. He doesn't want to let that city state uh, be next to him. He's taking out the units and at the same time uh, taking out uh, his opponent's uh, 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 city state. <laughs> All hail Samarkand! Hura! Hura! <laughs> Uh, what do we have here? We got a goal. Probably seeing what's happening. He's he has two cities that he can output boats. He's not that worried about this. I'm worried for him. At least La Lotra does have uh, two more turns to get that shipyard in Novia Dunum. And uh, he does benefit from a lot of production in his other cities. Not the ones on the west side. Uh, needs to be really careful to actually make that work. It looks like he did actually put Big Ben when, uh, where Forbidden City should have been. And um, I do see he benefits from James of St. George in Novia Dunum. That actually will help him out to defend this a little bit higher. Um, he does have 300 science per turn and I'm pretty sure he should get the iron clans to defend against Tyrem. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like he's Wow, the science difference between them is just so big, bro It's, it's so big Anyway I, at this point, it kind of looks like uh, looking for Disha, 
did manage to outsim their opponents over here. Uh, we do need to see if they're gonna go for a victory condition. In this kind of like east versus west situation, even if uh, they did have more land, it looks like they didn't use it uh, properly, as in uh, get a lot of cities faster, uh, make use of um, uh, the extra cities that you're gonna benefit from, uh, try to get uh, as much stats as possible from them, snatch those uh, scientists that you need and so on and so forth. So all of those, um, bonuses that um, looking for Disha did manage to acquire on their side even if they don't have that many cities they do manage to um, accumulate into a big pool of, of amazingness over here and of course as you can see uh, we do have um, hope coming up with um, so much production 518 production only on two four six seven cities on his side uh and of course he is going to start pushing uh, rome when he's going to get stronger units i'm pretty sure he's uh, just uh, you know slowly building the infrastructure towards his opponent even in his face you know he's not caring about the reaction here because he knows rome is going to have a very hard time uh, first of all building a next tier army second of all upkeeping a next tier army that's going to be a problem not to mention get some support help from his allies it looks like uh, Handan is actually going to finish uh, Forbidden City next time. We do have uh, multiple military academies here uh, finished and uh, ready to go. Coal power plants coming up from Chengdu. And of course, you do see the size difference 216 versus 98. Yeah, we do have um, also a push from Rome. He's trying to get in uh, Marinango, while um, we do have Rome actually uh, getting one of the builders over here. Unfortunately, he cannot push anymore into the Aztec units. Aztec does have more science than him for some time now. He's on 190 science with 78 culture, and it does look like uh, he's not that far off from getting steel walls. A rifling coming up in two turns, and uh, it's of course uh, steel is just up uh, next after that. Uh, Rome went for the final attack. It's the final countdown. Da -da -dum -dum. Da -da -dum -dum -dum. Da -da -dum -dum. Yep, it's the final countdown, bro. We gotta see also if Japan is gonna get out of his uh, cities over here. Maybe when he's gonna get his uh, Iron Clans, he does have 150 science versus uh, Tyrem's uh, 111. And looking at the total science acquired, he did manage to get the 4200 versus 3600 of Tyrem. In the tech side, he's uh, also going for the bottom three, not actually going for the top one. Rifling in one, maybe he's uh, wanting to discover oil. <gasps> he's getting Venetian, Venetian arsenal activated man i still cannot believe venetian arsenal actually is getting more important when it got nerfed than it when it was buffed like this is unbelievable honestly it's unbelievable when it was buffed everybody building venetian arsenal was losing <laughs> when it got uh, nerfed now everybody's winning with it like how is does this comply you know like, uh, wait, why is King W so expensive? That Samar can moment would be perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Also, Meyer Sans, good evening, sir. What do you mean it's expensive? What? Not expensive, bro. Uh, did somebody clip it? Uh, I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I don't think anybody did. Maybe somebody can go back and clip it. Oh, we got the Phoenician Ironclads. And it looks like Gold does need to get his units uh, on track here because, uh, yeah, he's in a world of trouble. Uh, is Phoenicia actually gonna go for Lahore? Oh my god, he's going to point his stick at uh, Japan. Well, this is actually a good move for them. If they do manage to get the um, extra Diplo score, it will send them in their lead and maybe, maybe push this uh, for a few more. Um, I'm gonna say for a few more turns. The biggest question I have here is what are they actually gonna go for? You know, like, what is the win condition of uh, Phantomas? Okay, I understand they can um, keep on playing the game, but what is the win condition? We got Byzantium with a Tangma army taking over uh, Muscat. I don't see him uh, getting theater square festivals from his cities, putting down more encampments and finishing them. Uh, more theater squares, and uh, I'm actually quite afraid he's not building any libraries. Wow, this city, bro. Going for uh, art museums, but no libraries. Well, I'm pretty sure he's getting defended quite a bit when it comes to the culture. He's uh, right meow on uh, 7 out of 94. And uh, in the culture screen here, he's on, let's see, what is his uh, tourism? On 100 tourism per turn. That's going to be a long time, bro. 
I totally get the um, initiative though. Let's let's go. More, more sugar, more sugar. Oh my God! If this ironclad manages to, oh, he's gonna get here. Check this out. He's gonna shift enter on Halong Bay, and he's gonna be so strong. This is a plus 15 wonder, by the way. This gives you plus 15 combat strength when you are in the tile. <laughs> he just needs to get in there, and he's gonna be so strong. Oh, check this out. 96 strength uh, ironclad. Easy peasy. Of course. Walls go up. We got gold getting the other side. It looks like he's gonna need to switch to the top three now. At least La Lotra was on uh, chemistry. He was trying to go labs. And now he's gonna need to go uh, steam power uh, for these... Um, for these units for the iron clans of course uh, i do believe he already has scientific theory if he's going um, chemistry yeah he definitely has a sanitation and scientific theory and we got a gg called so out it looks eggs. like looking for d shark found their mark the they found the sharks the and uh, managed to push their win through Van thomas was revealed over here and on the pangea map on the standard the regions they managed to get a Bio victory condition going today. I gotta mention, we're gonna go and, you know, jump into the debrief zone. They are French players. They're gonna talk about in French. I know my, my stream is usually in English and I'm sorry for this. We might actually have... Um, some translations going on in the in the chat and uh, at the same time uh, i do hope uh, they're also gonna answer some of the questions we have in uh, in english hope so oh. I hope so i hope so so i do beg for your forgiveness for um, of course uh, not actually being able to translate fully the french language that we're gonna hear here but i do believe it is quite important beca because we do have a lot of uh, french viewers that they do um, uh, hear what uh, has uh, transpired during the game, what the players have to say about uh, what happened during the game and so on and so forth and of course um, get the atmosphere of the game. Let me actually take a look uh, where they are. Let's see. I'm just waiting for them to get into the same channel over here. Um, Tyrisian CC was called. So basically what that happened was Portos uh, was uh, seeing no way out of this um, situation they were finding themselves uh, in. Uh, Portos is the simmer of uh, Fantomas. Uh, so um, it, it was quite a problem for him uh, uh, to find a way out. They couldn't, like they could keep on going, but they didn't have a victory condition going. And that was the uh, problem here. Uh, let's actually jump in. On a. Je sais pas si on a mais. On a. On a des gold. C'est là où on J'ai fascisme dans ces tours. Ouais. Mais non, mais il a pas, il a même pas les cuirassiers, gros. Ouais, mais il aura pas tant que, il aura que des cuirassiers fascistes, il aura pas des tanks fascistes. Ah oui. Oui. J'ai cuirassé dans un tour, dans un tour. Ça va. T'as fait comment, Lise, pour me reprendre Buenos Bah, je fais pas d'Anna. Pas du tout. Ouais, les émissaires. Pas d'Anna, c'est moi qui l'ai, je t'ai dit. Je... Enfin, c'est le bateau, oh, là. Mais... Alors, euh, si tu l'as dit, mais t'étais peut-être mute. Ah, t'étais peut-être mute, t'es un sport. And, uh, hey. Can someone uh, switch to English for Michael, maybe? Ah, yes, yes. Ah, sorry. Oh, thank you. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? GG, well played, well played and congratulations. Hello, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, just, just a few questions, and um, I'm gonna let you speak in French. I hope so. Um, first of all, uh, why the remaps? Why both of you remaps? First map. Uh, first map. Uh, we see very novel uh, map. We see okay. a trade between uh, Moctezuma, Kublai uh, China, and Gol. But uh, spawn of Gol is very shit. No, no carrier, no, no stone. Yeah. And plus, uh, Japan is alone with Rome in front, and yeah. die maybe on Caravel or something else. So okay. we decided to remap because uh, shit map. Yeah. And f and for uh, for Thomas, uh, 
we we saw a river of uh, Japan, no? Yeah, Japan uh, next uh, uh, next to uh, uh, Maya and uh, Gaul. Ouais, and, moi j'avais la Gaul. En Byzance. En Byzance. Ouais, so it's, uh, it's the worst uh, matchup for uh, Byzance uh, if, uh, if she go uh, Tagma. So no no trade uh, no trade naval uh, between uh, everyone in Thomas. So. Yeah, it wasn't the best uh, matchup you could have had. Also, my uh, not that many plantations. Yep, and, and the and the land is not uh, insane. So yeah. Um, we, okay. we can have a more uh, better positioning and uh, better uh, spot. Uh, the second question but I have is for Rome. Uh, why did you not build more cities, bro? <laughs> because uh, I had the call to to make uh, five cities and I try to to Iran, maybe the Aztec, or the China, I... but China too much choke. Yeah. So after that, I was maybe too too Iran to, uh, to to scale. Okay. But, I only uh, had to uh, call for us, but uh, if uh, if we do uh, more uh, more city, maybe Aztec uh, try to more Iran. Yeah, true. So there, there, there was also I had always to, that to, chance. Yeah. I think I had to keep only the the position. Uh, to to protect my my Byzance, and after that uh, he maybe can win uh, the game. But uh, I was only a, a hunt for him. I was wondering about uh, Byzantium. Why you didn't make a few tagmas just you know for the sake of making tagmas and send them to uh, Aztec? But then Aztec never actually settled that many cities on the east side. <laughs> you stayed away so much from uh, putting cities in front of uh, Byzantium. Eh? Uh, so okay. there, there, there is, there is no way to go in. Yeah, that's one time chokes. I, I get it. I yeah, there, there, there is no the way to go in. Spot, il demandait juste, il, il s'attendait juste à ce qu'il y ait quelques tagmas pour, euh, pour protéger euh, le... Bah oui, mais ton côté justement, mais en fait, oui, comme l'Aztec est jamais sorti de ces montagnes, tu, ça sert à rien. Mmh. On sait exactement okay. ce qu'il a dit. <rire> Sorry, mec. <rire> no worries. Thank you, Orensi, for translating. <rire> no problem. Uh, I think we lose on... Uh... Il y en a un qui tentait le colisée Non. Euh, non, je ne vais pas poser la place de... J'ai pas de, j'ai pas le savon, j'ai pas, j'ai pas de bonne. I think we we lose on the skill of uh, simming, uh, control of uh, uh, six six six. Six. Moi j'ai mes deux. And, uh, and gold, so overall, uh, <laughs> overall, uh, it's good. I do. Uh, j'ai fait des tunnels dans la montagne hein, pour cette table des gold. Hein. Les gars, on fait des trucs. Hein. Non mais même c'est pas que c'est... Je suis à 500 gold euh, voilà, sans oui, forcer. On a, fait, on a fait des couilles au niveau des trades. En fait on a fait l'alliance militaire avec Dido alors que ça fait... Et ça y est en anglais euh... Et... Oui, non, bah non. <rire> yeah, and we, uh, maybe you do a bad call on Diplovot. Like uh, you be uh, Japan, but the best is I think be uh, like China. Like I'm in middle uh, between uh, Gaul and, uh, and Japan and I do military with uh, Aztec so I trade with both of them. Yes, and yes, you can just swap uh, your traders uh, in case, anyway. No, but if they be uh, me, like uh, I lose uh, tons of gold. Yes, but yes. We, don't, we don't know the uh, military alliance. Yeah. And uh, for the... Arbor of Japan is uh, more early, so we think uh, Gaul and um, you uh, trade on uh, Japan. So uh, prefer to ban uh, Japan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's a game of uh, full bad calls. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> um, I think uh, your land maybe Maya is uh, very pretty complicated. I don't know, but uh, it seems. Uh, I have. Uh, I'm not OTP uh, Maya, but. Uh, en fait, on espérait que vous preniez Maya, en fait. On, on pensait oui. que vous allez prendre Maya first. Ah, oui, 
With that, uh, Maya, it was your uh, first uh, first pick. Okay. And, okay, uh, cool. uh, but go goal is better, and uh, we think uh, during the draft that uh, Maya will be banned. Uh, Maya is a uh, uh, hard sieve to master. We we take less risk at uh, let letting Maya than uh, letting go open. Yes, and uh, when we saw your first pick, uh, we think, uh, wow, Gaul and Maya, uh, hard prod culture, uh, hard science, we, we have to pick it. pick it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Maya is broken, uh, I think. Like, you are, you are the best uh, stat in your team with that sport. I so have, uh, big, uh, big culture. Yeah. My, uh, my uh, observatory was on... Uh, Wood and uh, tropical wood. Yeah. Forest. Uh, oh, that's um, cool. Don't have uh, uh, the optimization for irrigation. Uh, I have yeah. uh, three, three, four mountain on my cap. Voilà. <laughs> Juste à dire un truc en anglais. Euh, espèce de petite bande de petite pute à vouloir faire des religions. <laughs> Pour pas que je m'en taxiste <laughs> uh, Our opponent uh, want to, to take uh, Prophet... Uh, uh, deny taxis. Uh, uh, deny uh, taxis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bande de petites salopes, parce que le plus vite... Eh, 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 eh. Il n'y a pas qu'un stream anglais ici, toi. <laughs> Mais il est en stream en plus ce con, il est en stream. <laughs> Bravo, hein, il cherche à être ban. So, let me ouais, cherche à me faire guys... ban surtout, oui. <laughs> yes, yes, Michael. You, you guys Alors. just uh, got your spot in uh, D2, right? In the Division 2? Uh, no, there is one more uh, playoff. Oh, no, uh, vous, y êtes. vous y êtes. Ah oui, yes. Yeah, yes, we are... Uh, I got it. Yes, we are in D2, but uh, we will do a final uh, next week or two weeks. Don't know. Boost. Laissez-nous oh. avec les noobs. But they didn't like, uh, or maybe I understood it wrong. But Emote disbanded, right, as a team. Yes. So, uh, yes. Uh, you got like two slots now in D2. It's not only one. Yes. Oh, okay. So you're just playing for like seeds, but you, whoever wins, yes. uh, Project most, Conqueror's most finalists is, is uh, anyway? going to to second division anyway. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. I see. Very nice. Congratulations, by the way. It's uh, it's gonna be great Thanks. to see you in the next uh, you. season. I, I love to see how everybody improves from uh, like uh, week to week, from month to month. It's amazing. Do you yes. like my relic uh, tattoo? Do you like my relic tattoo? Oh, uh, Colony. Yeah. I, I have, uh, I have uh, one. Uh, it's the first time, first turn on uh, one face by your turn. So I have uh, a plus 10. I have 11. I think, oh, cool. Uh, uh, will you just do settlement, settlement uh, on, on Maya and. What? Already did you touch? Oh, you're going to die of fertility. You wanted to die of fertility, I was disappointed. Yes, but I don't have many, many... Ah, what do you call that? Plantation. Plantation. I don't have many plantation for plus one culture, so... Mm -hmm. go, 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 uh, I, I would like to to just ask something before leaving. Uh, VTC, can uh, we right. talk about this naval fight? Uh, just <laughs> can we can we talk about no admiral? Uh, oh, not man. taking the choke. Oh man! Uh, and getting shift entered. <laughs> It is kind of throwing, to be honest. But uh, the, the, we, we, oh, a naval fight oh, without. It's a maker on sea. Ah, the maker. He makes a punir. Par contre, non mais t'inquiète ou... pour tous, je settle en sang, T2, j'ai une relique, je le colle, je dis les gars là c'est la relique. Je suis à 5 de fois tour 2, donc c'est rapide. Euh... Comment c'est oui. le stream, le stream de Rancy pour euh, les insultes qu'il y a eu De quoi euh, Tu vas sur son stream, tu fais signaler comportement inapproprié, okay. je crois. Ça marche, merci. Ah, ah, J'ai une ville été manquée. Oh là là. Yes. 23 ans, ouais, bah écoute. Ma ville a fini, c'est à 18. 
J'avais pas vu qu'il y avait que j'avais pas fait le moulin. Oh là là, oh ce péchip. Oh là là, le péchip level 3. J'ai une, fer... une ferme à 10 de bouffe. Il a plus rien en face de toi. Il n'y a plus rien en face de toi. J'ai pas de montagne pour faire de la science. Il ouais, ouais, ouais. y a tout de mon côté. Il est tout sur ma ville là. T'inquiète, j'arrive avec les péchis. T'inquiète, j'ai volé toutes tes montagnes. Sporad, j'ai volé toutes tes montagnes. Oh, c'est plat, j'ai même pas de collines, pas de. Genre, j'ai une quantité astronomique de forêt en 2-1. Bon, pas de forêt. Bah, oh. J'ai pareil, hein. J'ai pareil sur Kobila Chine, honnêtement. Chengdu, euh, ça bosse ses meilleurs 6-0, 3-0, 3-0. Hein. Oh putain, c'est ce... Well, thank you so much, guys, for uh, allowing me to be here. It was a great game to watch. And again, congratulations yes. for, uh, for the win and the spot in the D2. Ah, um, uh, thanks, thanks, Michael. Thanks. Thanks. Bonne soirée. <laughs> and uh, let's see each other in the yeah, next one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bye. 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 So uh, there we have it. We heard uh, a little bit from uh, both teams. Uh, we did also see um, oh, oh, here actually one and see uh, giving us a bit of a um, a few more questions, especially about the naval five. I I, I didn't want to poke the bear on this one because honestly, VDC did quite well when it came to the full defense. Like he grinded down his opponent, but I gotta say, if Tyrem was a little bit more prepared there, just getting a few more units um, uh, on the supply line, it, he would have probably managed to breach the um, breach the defenses of Japan. You know, won this, but it, it didn't happen, and VTC did manage to, um, as you can see, lost count for the units zero, settlers count zero, and so on and so forth. Anyway, we we just saw. Um, Looking for Dishak, getting that uh, spot in uh, the second division. Uh, and uh, we're going to need to see also tomorrow. Project Conquerors go against Lezanimo. Uh, that's going to be, uh, I think, the third game out of a best of three series. Let me actually take a look over here in the, in the chats. Cas, uh, Cas, Season 10 Rendezvous. Um, yeah, there we go. It's the final to best of three. This is the decider over here. Tomorrow, 2030. G um, this is Paris time, actually. It's 1930 GMT on a of course, uh, Tuesday, Project Conquerors versus Les Animo. In the meantime, you can uh, always check up um the news on the CWC website on the civ6worldcup.com I do try to update it as soon as I get the information and we're gonna also see um, how fast uh, will the players uh, start to um, schedule their games we do give them until uh, Tuesday evening so tomorrow evening to actually schedule all of their games and that's when we get the information to actually start uh, getting the graphics and so on until probably Wednesday evening we're probably gonna have the information for you on the website with um, all of the new games for this weekend the games are uh, being played between Thursday and um, Sunday and we will need to see um, uh, who's gonna win this one because we had quite a few surprises this weekend oh my god if you, oh, I, 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 I'm gonna spend like hours if I need to talk about this one anyway um, thank you so much for everything much appreciated for the uh, subs for the follows for um, uh, the support for the bets for everything thank you so much uh, if you uh, do want to um, um, be aware of what's going on about upcoming projects about um, my schedule for the games and so on you can always uh, check out my discord i do try to keep uh, as much as possible updated with uh, the latest information that i have and of course you can always reach me out to uh, ask me some questions about this or this or that uh, at the same time i do want to also say if you're coming up from youtube and you saw the premiere thank you so much for this um, uh, and i hope you're gonna see um, you're gonna put a, a thumbs up on the video um, of course uh, i do also want to uh, say maybe we can uh, see each other on the live stream on twitch.tv slash on spot tv and uh, we're gonna have a great time uh, with some civilization 6 content we got a big announcement for tomorrow coming up from um, you know, fire axis we don't know what it is but it is something coming up from fire axis so hopefully we're gonna get to um um, yeah, see some amazingness over there coming up from uh, the developer of the game. So, uh, without further ado, I do uh, hope uh, you guys enjoy the show and we're gonna see each other in the next uh, stream tomorrow, 19 and 30 GMT f for the game Project Conquerors versus Les Animo. Bye bye bye.
these hosses want to fight. But I got a feeling that something's brewing. Oh my god, Panther now. Changes everything. Oh my god, on spot TV rating with a party of 63. Thank you for the big raid. That's a lot of viewers compared to what I normally get. <clears throat> Smash, bam bam. I wish I had some fancy stuff, but I'm still figuring out all the mechanics on the. Uh, Twitch, you know, I got to do with the channel points and stuff. But yeah, thank you for that. That's nice. Just playing the CPO FFA of under and the boys. It's a little bit loud in there, so I can't just deafen for a moment. But yeah. And since